Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. We've got Erlen back! Hey! Yay! Good to be back. Good to see everyone. What the hell was going on? What yeah. did I miss? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, we, you noticed immediately. We, I mean, people out there don't notice, but we've put up the lights on the ceiling. We've it's a real studio ceiling now. Ceiling mounted. We've There's an assistant who got me mount. this coffee. I was like, who's this? Oh, yeah. What's Craig the, doing? What did Craig Craig's get? Up, <laughs> Craig's up front at the front <laughs> desk greeting people. I was like, man. He, he, yeah, he gave you the pass to get through the, the is, metal detectors. Which yeah. is pretty crazy. <laughs> oh. yeah, you, now you've got like a vending machine up there too. Which is yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, it's got chips and pop and stuff. Nothing too felt, fancy. Right? Felt pretty, pretty. I'm like, what is this operation? <laughs> <laughs> this, this over overhead is expanding <laughs> yeah we're losing tons of money but craig uh, is worth it man i think craig is he's, he's really good at scheduling we're here. He's in like, party yeah, time he's party great time. oh it's party cats, time right cats, off the cats, top cats. hey cats let's get some nip into these cats are you ready you want some catnip oh he does he does want catnip well, oh let's... okay Let's get oh let's get them their drugs. Apparently not Darcy. Where's it say Darcy? <laughs> Doesn't they just like it's not Darcy. Uh the cat cam is not on. Let's correct that. <laughs> wait, that's not Darcy. <laughs> that's not wait, Darcy wait, wait, wait. Who's uh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. There's some cats. Let's get them some cat now. One for you, one for you. I know what will happen. Sid will just destroy and take over. Everything. Oh, he's got some kitten energy. Holy. He there. There's yours. There's yours. Oh, he has so much kitten energy. It's like... He's like... And, and <laughs> they both just laid on it. That's not how you use the nip, kittens. Thank you so much, Gamma Dev. Yeah, Cat Cam has been restored. Thank you. Um, so today we're going to be playing some Atari 2600 Ooh, games. Back, some OG back in the day. Back to 1977. Let's go. Um, today we have an exclusive world premiere of Pop Box Arena. Holy. A new game that will be on demo at PRGE in one week. Exactly one week it starts on the Friday. I'm very excited. Um, also, uh, we're going to be playing Minigun Miner, an exclusive update of that game, which will also be on display at PRGE oh, as wow. a demo. Um, and we're going to be playing the rest of the demo games for the Atari 2600 that are going to be on display at the Atari Age booth. Holy, okay, this is like... Yeah, it's intense. We're ramping up to the big event. <laughs> when is one the week event? From now. Uh, it is in Portland. It's Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It's on, starts on Friday. It goes to Sunday. You're it's, definitely going. Are you oh, going? Now? Every year. Yeah, okay. Every year. It's the, one of the highlights of my year. Tanya and I's year. Um, we get to meet, you know, all the developers, all the fans. It's a mecca of retro gaming. It's huge. It's the it's, place to be. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, in North America um, for retro gaming. That's for sure. Not for gaming. There's just huge ones. I mean, I've only have heard like PS5 and stuff. All I've yeah. only heard about this every year that you've done the show for like <laughs> every year. <laughs> yet, yeah. yet still, it's somehow a mystery uh, to me. Like, what is this? You'll have to come down one year. I'd love to come. It's be... it's it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of people enjoying their hobby of gaming. Yeah, and it would be fun to just like also wander and like get out of the city and like go to yeah. somewhere new. And it's not that far from where we are. Six hour drive. It's not much, you know. PS1 is is retro. Yes. It's retro to me. <laughs> PS2's retro. PS3 is retro. Oh my god. Anything like two generations past, I think is qualifying yeah. enough cuz that's like 10 years. And some people are like, "Yeah, I played it when I was 10 and now they're 20." It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's retro to some It is Xbox, the first Xbox for sure oh, retro. Super OG. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, for me, it's like anything uh, pre-3D graphics on yeah, consoles is, is, is more solidly placed in the retro. Yeah. Uh, why do you use the coasters anyway? Why? No. <laughs> yeah. They just knock it all off. I don't know. It's, it's, I think it's the ritual, you know? It's it is. The, it's, they expect. They know where to go. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't get dug into the carpet immediately. I think this carpet has a lot of catnip ground into it yeah this is like now. a cat sanctuary is what this is i feel like sometimes <laughs> yeah, they just come in and just roll around just to see if they can get a little, yeah. uh, little uh, straggle uh, any, you know <laughs> any leftover uh, 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 yeah screen used yeah well we will be 
handing out these uh, coasters at Portland Retro Gaming Expo because we are broadcasting live, really? doing oh. some live coverage. Oh, that's going to be cool. PRGE. I bought some, I've upgraded my equipment for it. So we've got this, uh, which we're going to be using at the expo. Oh, nice. Steadicam. So you can put your phone on there. Yeah, it just simplifies can, things so much. Oh my God. Last time we had a laptop, uh, um, video encoder hooked up to it through USB. The battery didn't last very long. We had to plug in everywhere. Nightmare. This free fo free flowing. We bought some wireless mics. Nice. Um, and the wireless mic hook into the phone as well. Um, it is just awesome. I am looking forward to that. And it was really heavy last time. Yeah. I remember watching like a live event and the live event was just complete garbage. <laughs> and then someone was like, I'm just going to stream this on my Instagram. So someone at the event started uh -huh. like on their phone on Instagram. <laughs> and I was like, how is this better than the, like, that's the thing. Sometimes there's nothing to be. Sometimes know. simplicity makes it better. You have freedom. Right? Yeah, and it's like just a simple thing. So doing the phone with like labs, yeah. like it's just yeah. wireless this. labs. I can go anywhere, and I've got this microphone, which one of the labs just plugs right into. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it's just a wireless box, and then I can go, "Hey, Erlen, hey, why are you here? You know, what I, are you uh, selling? <laughs> I'm I'm selling myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a brand. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put some ZPH stickers around. Oh yeah, this. that's perfect. And then I can just go up to booths and say, hey. The saw, mic is hey, classic, too. It just it just kind of like, oh, it signals yeah. what we're doing it's like, here. It's, it's official. It's happening. We're broadcasting live. Yeah. And um, and all the people who can't make it to PRG, they, they've shown their appreciation for our live broadcasts down there. Because it's it's difficult for some people. They're in Europe or oh, Australia yeah, like, or who knows where, you know, right? You know, 1,000-euro flights is a, is a totally different operation yeah. than a six-hour drive. No full-body Steadicam. I know. It's yeah. it's, a, it's a letdown. Yeah, we're going to put some ZPH logos on all four sides here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be handing out all these beautiful, shiny coasters Ooh, to people who come we'll, up to us. We'll cover them with catnip, don't oh, you worry. Yeah. Pre-catnipped. <laughs> uh, we'll be giving out some ZPH stickers. Have Ooh, you seen these? No, I haven't. Yeah, you can have one yourself. Oh, thank you. I'll take a Let me, uh, I'll take a sticker. There you go. Oh, look Upside at this. Down. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, stuff. yeah. So, feel free to come up to us. If you see Tanya and I, uh, come up to us. We'll give you a coaster and a sticker and get a photo with you don't be shy we don't bite we're very friendly yeah don't be shy yeah uh want <laughs> <laughs> yes um so let's check oh first i want to thank all the subscribers oh yeah who help support the show scrolling right beside errol in there alan the Ferrangeri, atari arms car coder atari 1974 atari atari dude pr pocock bruno stice burst error charles donny mal charles win chitlala conquer raider sear a reboot dno down if you see dm dmc directs all dr mook house eric cart gamma dav jiz belt rondanella great offender ground trooper aldo jj johnny wc kabudu coder carl g care crack care cack Karakak? Croco 2600, <laughs> Veltifer, Lambdix, Press, Manny, Sippy, T, Mark, Yannis, Mark's Basic, Metal, Atari, Make Mies, Mike, Sol, McDowell, Musk, Man, Mr. Fix, Muddy, Punishment, Nostalgia, Koagar, Answer, Rose, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VD, Rev, Tilly, Ricardo, Pam, Smitty, B, Spice, Rare, Spindly, S, Ramirez, Strawberry, System, D, Train, Tiki, Dan, K, K, Tiki, Dan, K, Teat, Foes, Dragon, D, Tweeny, Vintage Game Members, VVG, Double Down, and X, Ken X. Thank you, guys. Yes. I've done game cons with a DJI Osmo strapped to my chest. Oh, I don't Cam know like. that one. Is that like... I know DJI is a kind of like stabilization. I don't know the Osmo yes, specifically, I don't know though. that one. We should do a quick Google. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. See a little I guess it in. has some stabilization built into it. Uh, I mean... Strapped to his chest, I'm guessing Smooth it's something. imagery. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's very similar. Very, it, it very is, similar It's almost product. exactly like that. Strapped to it, like, how would you strap that to your chest? Invisible if you wear a black shirt. Hmm. Uh, yeah, hmm. it depends which one. White? Black? Uh, hmm, how did you strap that to your chest? Duct tape? Yeah. Duct tape's always a way, you yeah, know. Yeah, enough so, duct tape, it'll fix there, anything. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yep. Good afternoon, S. Ramirez. So thank you to all the subscribers. Just before the show, an anonymous gifter gave out five subs. Really? Thank you, anonymous gifter. You are awesome. You are the best. Five gifted subs? Yeah, it's huge. 
Um, so let's get, uh, oh, actually, a, not a poll question, but it's just a question. Okay. Is there anything you're looking for at PRGE or your next retro convention? Is it games? Is it hardware? Is it consoles? Is it a new best friend? It, yeah. Are you looking for your soulmate? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. That Maybe. might be the place. You, you got something in common. You're looking you got for a, a, yeah. a delicious Celsius, maybe? I don't yeah, know. A sandwich? <laughs> um, a new cat. I don't know. They actually had uh, cats. A new high score. They actually had cats. Really? At last year's oh, PRG this... because they're celebrating the Jaguars anniversary. So they had some cats there. Oh, it was so cute. Those cats were adorable. Life's oh better God. when there's some cats around. It, just it is really real. is. It's a fact. These cats. These They're guys. just adorable. They're all nipped up. Look oh. at this. This is <laughs> like, oh, there's someone talking to me. Uh, my vote is for a ZPH panel at PRGE. Maybe one year. That will be awesome. Uh, um, I'll let you in a little secret. I did apply for a panel this year. Oh. And they said... You don't have enough subscribers. No, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> that's what they said. There. No, they said they liked the idea, but uh, some other people. If you look at the panelists, they're all like huge streamers, massive streamers with huge numbers of subscribers. And, you know, they fill the halls every year. Yeah. Um, I won't tell you what the panel was, but um, it. I thought it was really. It'll good. happen someday, and you'll come to it. Yeah, I've done. I've done the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Did, did a panel there, so maybe I just have to get better uh, panelists, or a better idea, or, or just slip try them some money. You know, a uh, little e transfer. Oh, that's Canadian. Yeah, you know, um, a, little, a little Zelle transfer. <laughs> a little Z transfer. <laughs> a little Z transfer to the little American Eagle fly across the. I should have included the cats. That was That's my problem. Issue. Cats and gaming. Something, something yeah, with that. I think to... that's a, a thread of an idea I can go for next year. Yeah, cats might... and gaming. That might work. Um, Twitch, is that a well, YouTube much like thing? Much like an Atari <laughs> game, if you die, that's okay. Just reload, try again, yeah. you know? like. Um, it was about homebrew, and all the panelists are not about homebrew. They're about... Games that have been talked to death. That's interesting, hey? Yeah. It always makes me like... Ugh, but that's also... You guys don't like new games? Come on! That's These that, games are better than the old games. That is the retro trap, right? Where you, you are... Can, you're only looking back. You're, yep. nev you're never it's looking all forward. all nostalgia glasses they have on. Yeah. Uh, Which we're here but, for. We're here for that, We're here too, for that. But... And no slight to the panelists. Uh, I go to the talks. It, it's really, really great to go uh, meet these people and listen to them. Um, but yeah, are you being sued by Billy Mitchell? Tips panel. There you go. Hey, I feel like there's a there's a definitely it's a support group <laughs> at this right. point, right? There's forming. We, we can get ourselves, uh, you know, an AA group. Yeah. Um, so what I'm looking for, PRGE, one thing specifically is a C64 PAL system. Ooh. Um, because most of the demos, most of the games are made in PAL, just like Atari 8-bit in PAL land. Um, so it'd be good to have one of those. You can upgrade your existing Commodore 64, so it has a switchable PAL NTSC and uh, more upgrades. Non-retro games for retro consoles, yes. That's, yeah. that's what we're here that's, for. That's, that's, that's the gig. Um, I'm also looking for tabletop games. There's some that I'm really looking for to kind of complete my Coleco line set. Um, some Game & Watches, but mostly the, the C64 PAL. Um, I was thinking, what what other like controllers do I need or hardware? But I've got it really covered. I've got a lot of yeah, you covered, you've which got is a... good because I, you know, I play the game and I'm like, oh, I need this controller for this game, and I buy the controller so it matches with the game. So I've I've got boxes <laughs> as you can, well, as Erlen can see, boxes. All those boxes are filled it's, with. It's all well organized and like also like all of your. That, all of that, all of this. See, this is new over here as well, Erlen. Oh. I got a new desk and a controller stand. Oh, over see, that's here. nice. So I can just go, oh, I need a uh, uh, Atari XC light gun. It's and like, I can we just got pull it you. Out. Yeah, we got you. I can go immediately grab it and start playing. Um, So let's get to the news. There's a Power Core update. And this is a very interesting. Um, game, proof of concept, something. Don't know what it's going to be, but it looks like it's shaping up to be a game. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, you can't download the binary as an earlier binary, but, uh, this is, let's see if I can zoom in on it. There we go. 
So this is interesting because you, because you don't normally see what is happening on the screen on a game which is the smooth movement of long Ooh. items on the screen. And the way that the developer is doing this, there is actually no play field involved in this. And usually play field is used for kind of drawing not things that don't go all the way across the screen, like structures in the game. Um, these are drawn using background um, and changing the color mid line. And, how and that's still relegated to four pixel chunks but he's got one pixel smooth movement on there that's because he's capping the ends with the ball which can be one pixel up to four pixels and he's moving the ball hiding the four chunk movements as it as it moves um his last binary that he put out did not work on my system because it has a color timing issue I don't know if he's addressed it in the new version that we're seeing here. Um, eight pixel. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, one, two, four, eight. Um, I don't know if he's addressed it in this. Oh, eight pixel. Sorry, background chunks because it's very hard to. It looks seamless though. Like it's very. Yeah. Although it is a loop, very, so very... you know we can only judge. Yeah, we can only judge <laughs> for this. But he's got. Um, player characters in there it's a very very tight kernel as as far as i know because he's not using any accelerator tricks like dpc plus or cdfj so kudos to him uh i'm actually you should address the issue i mean i did bring it up to him so he's aware yeah, so of he it. knows what's up i mean if i don't get a bin i don't know if it's been fixed nobody can test it he hasn't said that he's fixed it or addressed it so who knows so we'll see yeah we'll see hopefully it is uh working in the next one um and but it looks great he's got single line single line kernel going so it's very very detailed um so let's move on so this was posted yesterday that's way too big um muddy funster posted uh details about the collector's edition package at my console is the issue oh i should address the issue Ooh. well it's unaddressable um, because it's the RGB out. Uh, it's the RGB uh, board that makes the issue. Um, I have already addressed it. It has already been addressed with the person who makes the boards. He's aware of it, but he's not making any new boards. So unless he starts putting out new boards, RGB boards for the 2600. We've got to bribe him. We'll throw, throw a little, yeah. throw a little ZPH sticker. And <laughs> yeah, the sticker will seal <laughs> you, the you deal. Wanna, you want to get a sticker? We, we got some stickers for you. We, do you want a shirt? <laughs> yeah, so it's not addressed. It won't be addressed, apparently. Um, there was only one RGB. There is another one, but there's uh, it goes straight to hdmi it's uh an inline decoder digital decoder that goes out to hdmi um but the problem with that is it's already at hdmi and i can't run it through my retro tank 5x because it doesn't have hdmi in uh, i would have to buy a 4x uh, a, a 4k retro tank 4k and i don't even know if that will handle the issue i think it might just do upscaling and not uh, do buffering, but I don't know. It's a huge expense and I would have to do a lot. And for the very, 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 very edge cases like this game and a couple other games where it just messes up the color, no. It's okay. Color stream. That's what it is. I think that's what it's called. Color, color stream. stream or digital stream, something stream. Uh, uh, Money Funster uh, posted this yesterday. Here's the full collector's edition package that will be available at PRGE and then in the store afterwards. Here we go. So let's Ooh. zoom in. Oh, oh that's yes. a reaction to it. <laughs> An appropriate reaction. There we go. Now we can zoom in. So you get all this stuff. Um, and we'll betrayal. go over a detail oh. of what this stuff is. Look at all these books. You get a CD, you, you get a dog items. tag, you get a patch. So the items are in the collector's edition, collector's mission kit, which is the big box, Atari 7800 game box, manual and cartridge, uh, an item box, you get 
a, a box and a box. Two boxes. Ooh, box. and a novella? Or curse of boxes. You get yourself yeah, a little I can't novella? remember how many pages it was, but it's not small. Yeah. It is it is it is mighty. I, over twenty pages. Twenty four? Something like that. I can't remember. Uh the making of booklet as well. Uh a three by three inch patch. Uh, EXO original CD soundtrack, so you get all the music, which is great music. Uh, a metal dog tag. A metal red. dog tag, yes. That's good, it's not paper. And a 22 by 28 inch poster of the new artwork for the EXO Looks collector's really good. edition. Yes. TAIA digitizer, that's what I was referring to. Not not whatever I said. Up outputs Luma code, yeah. Uh, I wonder if the poster is made by AI. Uh, yeah, that's always sketchy. AI, no, I think it, there is an artist as well. Set a color name for your ch ch name chat. Yes, yes, you need to. Although for indie developers or like individuals, like using AI to help kind of get you started with ideas to then pass that's off to funny. someone. That's, is that's like, acceptable. Is it really... As an end product, putting out AI... Mm, sketchy. Yeah. Um, possibly uh, litigious. That's right. In fact, we'll find out as time goes on. Really interesting, hey. Whether they will deem AI created works. Have you messed around with Mid Journey at all? I, I have messed around with a bunch of yeah. those. Uh, I got bored pretty quick. I went down the <laughs> rabbit hole for a while. And then I, like, you have to pay per month. Yeah, for to it. get anything and after big it, or. Yeah, and after a month, I just kind of like just didn't subscribe again because I liked it, but I was also like, I don't know if I want to like have a monthly expense to have this. Yeah, another one, right? <laughs> but I, but I was really impressed. But you almost get in this whole rabbit hole of like yeah. typing in these commands and like generating yeah. things See what and comes like out. yeah, trying this thing and then refining this. But like, it can be very cool for like if you have an idea, like you're like, yeah. oh, I wanna like I wanted to build an icon for one of my D and D characters, so yeah. when we could load it in. In, so I was like, it was perfect. I was trying to like yep. find something that didn't exist, but also it wasn't exactly like it felt feel so random. You just type something in, and then it generates it. And I'm like, uh. I, I've used it for proposals. Um, I've used um, also Chat GPT for yeah. brainstorming, which it's great for because it's like, oh, I would have never thought of that because it just goes out and picks words and... from other things. Yes. Um, yeah, what was funny is I was looking online and someone was like, to get a good mid-journey prompt, you need to ask <laughs> ChatGPT to write you a good mid-journey oh, prompt. Geez. And I did that and I was wow. like, I was like, it actually worked better. And I was like, what is this? So I'm like going to Using one AI. AI to feed AI. <laughs> but the AI understands. Soon you're going to be out of the loop. But it understands how to speak to the AI because it's AI, right? It's true. It so knows the like, best way to format. Because like, hmm, hmm. it's done research on AI yeah. prompts, right? And it comes from the same <laughs> Ideas, but they, I... they, they can connect. They know each <laughs> other. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Erlen messaging me. Me. Um, <laughs> uh, the AWA anthology uh, for the fifty two hundred actually, because we showed the eight bit, which is being released on cartridge and floppy, which is crazy. Floppy. I don't know if um, Atari has ever issued anything on floppy disk before. And I remember I, I wrote rare. some essays on floppy disks and had to like <laughs> had to go Ancient between tech. computers. Oh, and yeah. as a kid, I was I, we all had floppy disks in our and then like we'd all given one to do work on. And then like about half Genuine the class. Genuine floppies or the hard just the like floppies. The, yeah, the little and, but, three and a half. Yeah. But what was interesting was that like half the class basically realized that you could break them apart and there was some. <laughs> inside so like i, I we, all, we looked around and, and, and like half the class had ruined their floppies oh, still works right no it doesn't work like a cd it has to be inside Side. yep cds actually started that way if you remember oh, uh, I did, don't. they used to come in caddy cases oh really and you had to put them in the caddy to to put them in because it was just really early tech mostly for writing to the to the discs um so yeah, this is on cartridge for the 5200. All the same games. You get 14 games. 14 one games, cartridge, dude. So it's oh, a really. good uh, good deal there. And uh, we, did develop, we did interview all three developers of this. If you want to go back and look at uh, the games we played through and also uh, those are always some of the coolest episodes when you when you get developers on and so great uh, put these up before uh, 
before I nobody can see these, but I'm closing them now. <laughs> uh, and the next one uh, that was um, posted hours ago uh, by Atari Age is also being released. Drone Patrol for the 7800 by Steve Engelhart, Tarius Maximus. We've played this on the show a number of times. Really fun. Great boss battles. Uh, very intense game. So that is coming to Cartridge for the 7800. And Blockum Sockum was announced yesterday. Uh, it's getting wider release. This was released in um, short uh, order by um, John Hancock. And I think it was cartridge only before. So this comes with a box. And you'll be able to not get it at the Atari Age booth, but they're making it for John Hancock's booth. So if you want that game, drop by John Hancock. Super nice guy. I'll definitely be visiting his booth and dropping by and saying hi. That's right. Getting and his signature. Like, he's, you know, he's, threatened, he's threatened to come on this show, too. Ooh. So it would be really great for uh, him to come up maybe in the uh, new year after the holidays. I'll uh, invite him up. And, uh, yeah, John Hancock, come on the show and can uh, maybe play through his games and play through some other oh, games. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he's a big, uh, big supporter of the show. Um, so this is done by Dar Daryl Genther. Uh, great puzzle game. So if you like puzzle games, that's a great one. And the um, video for this upcoming game that's going to be sold at the Atari Age booth for the Atari Jaguar Zeno Wings. Zeno Wings? Depends. Probably Zeno. Zeno. You hear Zeno Morph? Or Zeno, Zeno Wings. Yeah, that feels Zeno right. Zeno Wings. Um, a Galaga-esque game. Oh, yeah. That's not pure I'm alley, all man, about dude. it. <laughs> no, was, so, yeah, yeah. Let's take, take my money, whatever that is. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. So let's take a quick look at the trailer for this. I'm just going to mute it because I've had... Um, even trailers Pulse for stuff, games. Yeah. It's like they're using some music that they use from another artist, but that artist has not like cleared it with YouTube and it's like their own music and it's in their database. It's a nice 2D animation going on here. Too. Oh yeah, and 3D. Yeah, really, really nice. Clean, clean lines. One ship, one mission. One man. <laughs> <laughs> Could save the universe. There we go. There's some gameplay. This is it. And we have played this on the show before, earlier versions of what it. What console is this for? Is this Jaguar, Jag. as the British would say, and the, Australian. The, the Jaguar. They before. Jaguar. Jaguar. The Jaguar. Nobody calls it Jaguar in North America. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Jaguar. But, <laughs> no. but if you say it now. wrong in, in, uh, uh, in the EU, you're in trouble. So there you go. So I'm looking forward to uh, picking that one up. Coming soon. Oh, to a yeah. Uh, and I think, oh, and one more. This is an exciting the one for many reasons. Town. There we go. The boys are back in town. This was announced yesterday from Champ Games. Reunited, and it feels so good. Did you miss them? Well, we sure did, and now we're proud to announce Champ Games Presents. We're giving a new home to some of our favorite out-of-print Atari 2600 homebrews, spotlighting their developers and reuniting fans with these terrific titles exclusively through Champ Games. So, people may recognize these. These were offered in the last last chance in Atari Age, and then they disappeared from the Atari Age store, and now they're back in the Champ Games store. Ruby Q by Silvio Mogno, Star Castle Arcade by Chris Walton, Thomas Yanch, Juno First by Chris Walton, The End by Sar Carlos Centeno, and Stratovox, Stratovox by Carlos Centeno. All great, great games. Uh, obviously, uh, Qbert there, Star Castle Arcade, Star Castle in the Arcade, Juno First, after Juno First. What are you doing, Bad Cat? And those are, um, they're all arcade games, arcade classics, and they're all really, really good. And we're just getting started. Keep an eye out for even mm -hmm. more Champ Games Presents titles. So, Champ Games might be the new home for many arcade ports going forward, which is very exciting. Cool that there's a, there was a void, and now it's being filled. Yes. And by, of all things, Champ Games. Right? Well, it, it started off with them producing their uh, distributing their own games, and now they've got a pipeline set up, so it makes it a lot easier 
for them to put out other people's games. That's how it starts. Yep, Champ Games is excited to announce we'll be republishing five out-of-print games for the Atari 2600 and adding limited quantities to our store at the beginning of October. So there's a lot of games that they may be able to add in the future. Um, So here's a rundown of all the games. Obviously, top-notch quality games all box all games will be available as physical cartridges including full color label box manual and poster so they all come with posters and digital rom as well champ games is set up for roms binaries that you can download all of their games i think with a slight delay possibly after the box game is released they have the binaries as well uh would be cool if they expanded to 7800 yes it would we could get popeye back oh, yeah. that would be awesome and many many other seventy. mike wonders if uh they'll take princess rescue that feels like oh, that's some mm, heat you know do you want to that's too much heat it's like in gta when you steal a cop car Five it's like stars. no <laughs> you're like this yeah. is a real risky <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think they'll stay away from the N Big N titles. That well, might be a bridge too far. We shall see, though. We shall see. <laughs> you know, if you can um, take the heat. Some of these, I believe, will work. CDFJ games uh, existing won't work. Um, I th- Juno First, The End, Stratovox. I'm pretty sure Star Castle Arcade will be fine. Ruby Q. I think they're not, not any of them are CDFJ, but... It's been a while. I'd have to look them up. Um, you should be able to download demos of most of these and you'll be able to see for yourself. Most people don't use CDFJ except for Champ Games. Yeah. So a lot of these titles should be able to work. And if you want to know, they usually is very, fairly detailed in the Champ Games store. So before you buy, definitely check it out if that's your only way of playing uh, 2600 games. Yeah, definitely do your research beforehand. Uh, always do your research always you don't want to be stuck with a game you can't play but they have binaries as well there you go um which you should be able to load on the 2600 plus through various means um yes there's always a way it's always a way um i think that's all the news and it's time to get into the game time to dive in deep dive in so the OG twenty six hundred. That's right. The first one up uh, is Pop Box Arena. Pop Box. Um, it is done by Mike Latow, uh, Latom at oh, yeah. Atari Age Forms. He has done Berry Fun, Catch, and Electro Ball. All top notch quality games. Um, this demo will it will be on for demo at the Atari Age booth. So if you want to play this game yourself, it will be available. And I believe uh, he's going to be putting it out after, but we'll be getting into that in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna oh, let... there's apparently something you missed, but I don't know if that's... Oh, what did I say? Says... More news for 2600 Dev. Save Plus, a new Plus ROM feature. Oh, I haven't had time to look at that, so let me Let's do a actually look at that. We'll do a live... We'll do it live! <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Atari Age Forms Live. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> Without the expletives. Uh, okay. Oh, yesterday. Oh, I didn't miss this. Oh, there we go. Post by Elna Furwell. Mm. You should know. I'm happy to introduce Save Plus, a new Plus ROM feature, which is available through the Plus cart. Uh, similar to the save key, Save Plus allows your games to save and load data, such as scores, settings, or progress. That's very exciting. The big difference, all data is stored and retrieved from an internet backend. Um, probably because there's no storage on here. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, that's really great. Into the um, cloud, if you will. Yeah, Save Plus can be used with any Plus ROM supporting device or emulator, such as the Plus Cart, Stella, and Go for 2600 additional features oh wow that's very cool gmt time query so you can have things that are based on a real-time clock so if you play a game and then you don't come back to it for a week your um digipet will have perished um you haven't fed it you haven't watered it your digital pet has passed away 
we've never had let that happen. What's the yeah. what's the term Re- RTM or real time mechanics or something? I don't know. There is a term for it. It's a style of game that uses time as a you know like they're very oh. popular in mobile. It's a kind of mechanic. Oh yes, yeah. Mobile's big for that because they want you to come back every day, yeah. every hour, and it, it, in, in time like, pass can be like, oh, you've built up this, or you've earned this by playing it for five days in a row yeah. every day. Or like you, they're very, no. it's very common. Like you, yeah. you can. like in builder games, right? Like oh, oh, you click and you're like, okay, in four hours this will be built. Right. Or like oh, I'm gonna get this guy mining, and like it's not art, and it's not real time strategy. It's where it uses time as like a as like a kind of like a element. Yeah, I mean you can do that now because while it's still on. Like these systems will be able to count clock cycles because um, how accurate that is. But you could still use the GMT time query to make it a little bit easier. Yeah. You just go ping once and then ping later. Has it been four hours? It's... And it's out of the control of the person. Like you can't alter that clock. On a PC, you can go like, do, do, do. It depends if it checks local time and you can fudge it a bit. It's like, oh, in one minute, eight hours passed. Give me all the rewards. Yeah, it's and I think it's an underrated like uh, mechanic for gaming, yes. and most of the time it's used insidiously to sort of like you know in mobile games. But I think there's like potential for that as a kind of like as your life currency that oh come back in twenty four hours and this yes. will happen. Yeah. And it's almost interesting way of like uh, adding this other layer of like yeah. you set up your game, you leave, you sleep, you come back the next day, <laughs> and then you've like Keep advanced you forward. Um, you know? it, it would work on certain games. Uh, certain other games pick up and play games obviously you wouldn't oh, yeah. use that at all but like long term RPG type games bi- like city building city games city builder style stuff um, yeah farming games like anything that has a relation to real world events that you need time to pass yeah. I think there's some so that's cre- awesome I think there's some creativity that someone could come up with too in that area because we haven't seen yes. as many people really utilize that that element I think in a way no. that's creative and interesting like it's because it hasn't been able to exist yeah uh, it's just hard you'd have to tell it four days have passed or whatever exactly um, well, with some GMT time query <laughs> oh, I don't yeah, know maybe the races. <laughs> I'm just um, throwing stuff out there <laughs> score submission to plus ROM high score club games can be automatically submit player scores to the plus ROM High score club. This enables players to uh, compete at global leaderboards. Uh, I thought that was already a thing. <laughs> there is already high score club. Anyway, um, I'm guessing this is slightly altered. Uh, future features. We're planning on adding more features, such as querying the user's time zone or country, which could be used for region-based events or custom game settings. So also good for um, matching people up in a multiplayer game. So it reduces the lag as much as possible. It's not the most optimized way of doing it, but it will provide, like pinging is the best way, but it would provide a much better experience for at least time zone gaming so that people don't have to go to work go to bed you know they're both on a saturday afternoon 3 p.m they're ready to go or at 6 p.m after work you're ready to play that is awesome um and thrust also said maybe one could be used to sync two plus carts or roms with the gmt so that you don't get out of sync um systems if you're doing a um game that is turn-based almost um they could go okay the clock everybody each person has five minutes to move or yeah i don't know how long it would take to ping and get a time back over and over again or how much bandwidth etc but that would be a very interesting one to explore for syncing up the things standard rom oh there we go that's the insidious one thomas has come up with it standard rom only five minutes of play per day oh Oh, premium rom 30 30 minutes minutes. ultimate rom no limit that's how they get you pay to play has come to the 2600 see that's how people that's why they're so insidious but i feel like there is potential to not be insidious and and, and really turn it around the other way use that as a mechanic to sort of like implement and immerse you in the world you know yep oh or 30 minutes to get a high score gamma dev says so you can actually limit the time and or start a game all at the same time 
It's like, oh, this game doesn't start till 5 p.m. Pacific. And everybody around the world, or the Pacific players, start exactly at this time. So it's like um, a race. Everybody starts, and then it cuts it off at a certain time. That's, That's right. a good use for it, yeah. yeah and, the, and the classic thing they'll do in the mobile games is like... For the regular people, this action takes 24 hours, but if you buy the special <laughs> diamonds, now this 24 hours turns into into five hours, you yeah. know? Because when time becomes a currency... Just reset the camera. Somebody said the sink is off. Oh, no. Okay, let's do it. Now, it's, now the camera's right off. That's excellent. Goodbye. That's what I was hoping for. You know what this As is? A result, this is more of a podcast now. Yeah, who needs, we're, we're doing needs, audio only. Dude, who needs to see oh, the there stream? We, go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to see any streams. There we go. It came back eventually. Come on. Come on. Come on. Full frozen. Oh my goodness. It's, a, it's having trouble. No. Okay. Let's, let's just we'll reset it, it once more. Oh, yeah, I see stars, one. though. Not on the main one. Oh, yeah, stars. The The background is showing through now. There we go. So if it was off, it should be better now. Yeah, let um, us know. Thanks for letting oh, us know. Oh, real world example. One developer already using the save plus is Thomas Yench in his game Paddlefield. In Paddlefield save plus stores the game selection on the server. So when the game starts again, it continues to the last settings. Oh, bye, Tanya. Bye. See you later. Yep, see you in a bit. Um, so when the game starts again, it continues to the last settings. It's one example of how the save plus can enhance gameplay by preserving custom settings cross sections. So you don't have to remember and you don't have to reset in case it's a game that has a lot of very detailed settings. Ah, I actually Ooh. came up with the idea. Very nice. Well, that's a great idea. Um, and just like the set, like with save key, developers will need to request a unique ID for their game. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this ensures that the game's data is correctly stored in the database, so it has the game ID and your ID, and you get that saved to your that section on uh, the Plus Store. Uh, for games using the high score feature, you also need a high score ID to enable a score submission to Plus ROM High Score Club. And there's documentation there, so devs have at it. Oh no, not just before the wedding in PRG. I'll be in touch later. So a lot of people. <laughs> That's um, how it goes. That's always how it goes. A lot of, a couple of people there. Pick the wrong profile. That doesn't help. Um, but I'm gonna reset it just in case. Just in case. Cool. Help. Yeah. Help. 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 Something's help. wrong with the ZPH stream. Yeah, we're coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back. There we are. We're How back. Is it now? Too late. Sorry. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're all done. Oh. Yes, it's too late. <laughs> Everyone left. Is no. it good now? <laughs> no, it's too late. <laughs> Let me know if it's good now, please, 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 please. Okay, oh. uh, we're gonna be playing Pop Box Arena. Those responsible have been sacked. Those have been sacked. Have also Craig. Been sacked. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> Craig. Craig. We need to pick. Go to the server room, Craig. No, no, no. Left door. The one on the left. Okay. This guy needs to. Craig's on it. He'll, yeah, Craig's... he'll be. He'll be pulling wires. Maybe. You know, maybe it's not a good idea now. It seems good. Um, yeah. We'll just like. <laughs> if there's anything wrong with the stream, I I blame Craig. I'm it's it's Craig's you. fault. I mean. That he's guy's got to get his shit together. I mean, know? we we hired him to do all the background audio visual stuff. Um, I mean, it was just going on his break, which is not a great timing because the show's on. Yeah, but, but um, you know. Yeah. You'd think it's like, this. we don't stream that much. Why does Craig have to go on a break during the stream? I mean, <laughs> I got to look at his time schedule. It doesn't make any sense. It's I mean, this guy. I mean, it's during noon right now in Pacific, so it's not really, yeah. I mean, He's he have to do his lunch early. He is just a 16-year-old Filipino boy, so <laughs> we have to give him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's cheap. So that's how it goes. <laughs> so uh, it is time for the exclusive world premiere of Pop Box Arena by Mike Letow. Uh, 
Okay, so this game actually uses, can use, the Quad Tari. But today, we only have two people here, so I don't need to plug it in. But um, you can play up to four players with this. Twitch ad attack. No, we're oh, sorry. Craig. Uh, Craig, put some more quarters in it. Put some more quarters in the server, Craig. Come okay. on. So up to today's date. Okay, let's do it. Up to the date. Which one are we doing again? Oh, we're doing all these. Pop but box. first, it's Pop Box Arena. And is this one right here, PRG? That's demo? the one. So we're playing the uh, PRG to launch demo give it a sec? version. Uh, let's get into it. Let's, let's, let's dive in. Is it, this is a demo? Oh. Yep, demo for Atari Age. So, Pop Box Arena. Let me read just a little bit cool. before we get into oh, it's it. It's flashing. It's... Press fire after resist. Whoa. <laughs> resist. The shiny red button. Oh. Uh, it's a 16K game. This builds from September 13th. Um, hi, you're back. <laughs> People said you're um, you're you're giving an alibi by uh, saying that you're on stream. Yeah, for some crimes and that are about to be committed. Some some crimes to, that are about to be committed. And then I said, well, it could have been a recording of her, and we could have been fooling you. So you have to come on camera and say hi. For the true alibi. Yeah. Just poke your head in and say hi. And there you go. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye. <laughs> so here's my brief roadmap for the completed game. Multiple arena layouts. Oh, actually, that's not what I should be. It says, hi, all. I'm working on my fourth Atari 2600 homebrew, Ooh. which is the Quad Tari oriented demolition derby inspired game currently called Pop Box Arena. It's presently a 16K game with an F6 bank switching scheme. You take control of one of four recalled electric cars which has a battery pack crudely attached to the back. No, Elon. No, why <laughs> what did you, you do, do this? this? What did you do to us? Uh, your goal is to ram into the battery packs of other cars oh, oh, yes. to weaken the battery harness. Okay. Uh, each battery harness can only take so many hits until it completely falls apart, after which your car will run no more. Uh, the last car running wins. Control is joystick-based. Why not drive in controllers? Because I wanted to program for the most accessible controller scheme in the non-linear aspect. Appreciate that. Of, yeah, a non-linear aspect of the driving controller would unduly influence gameplay, in my opinion. Where you press left to steer left, right to steer right, and press the fire button to accelerate. I don't know if I can wrap my head around these controls. <laughs> okay, let me, let me read it once let more. Let me just hear it once more. <laughs> um, the electric cars were recalled due to faulty brakes. So those have been removed. Uh, but don't worry, the regenerative braking technology is still working, slowing your car down when your foot is not on the gas. Okay, good. Gamma Dev, as an EV owner, I feel attacked. Me too. Yeah. Brutal. I am working towards having something demoable for PRG 2024, which it will be. I would love for those to blah, blah, blah. That's other things. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. Press your buttons. So, Pop Box Arena, press fire to play. And each person, as they press the button, will uh, show up on the screen. Wait, which one am I? So you're red. Oh, okay. Let's. Red. Oh, I see. I see. I red see. to accelerate. No, no, come on. You're in God. the wall. What is going on? No, I'm trying to turn. Oh, you're off the screen. <laughs> what is happening? No. Oh, there you go. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. You're hold back. Up. Hold, hold up, guys. There you go. Hold up. Okay. You're we just needed a action. second to. So you got to hit how the to back play. end of those cars. They are currently. Oh, oh he's no, hitting you! No, oh, no, 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 you. no, oh, no, no, no! I'm trying to move. Oh, you're out! Oh dear! Oh, okay, he's attacking okay, you! Out. Okay. And since uh, it doesn't end when the uh, CPUs are finished, I think, uh, wait, I think we call it a, a, a skill issue. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. Yeah, you, you'll get better. Okay. So, um, some new things that Mike learned while uh, doing this uh, homebrew: uh, programming for the Quad Tari. Sprite, sprite flicker management. Um, the above gameplay graphics is done with yellow 30 wins. hertz. Yellow Screw you, yellow. Okay. Yellow. Okay. Yellow's the worst. Freaking yellow, man. Okay, red. There you go. You're in. It pauses for other players to press the buttons. That's why. So you got to hit the, the battery pack on the end. Oh, nice, nice. You're getting them. Oh. Just some head-on collisions. I don't think any damage comes from head-on collisions. I don't. Oh, look at them! They're attacking each other there. No, no, it's kind of like. Oh. 
This doesn't look like an accurate representation of Elon's full self-drive. <laughs> no. Oh, Mike Latow is in the chat. So the dev is in the chat. Blue player did not press button in case they were trying to play. Nope, not yet. No, no, come on. <laughs> Turn around. No. Oh, blue player's out of it. Green player's out of it. Yellow is still mad at green player. Oh, oh no, I hit myself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Erlen hurt, it, hit him, hurt himself in, conf in the confusion. Oh, it's so much hate for the green guy. Oh, 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 oh I get away now. from me. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there you go. It's an opportunity. Oh, oh okay. No, oh. <laughs> turn around. Turn around. Please. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, there's no reverse. It's okay, okay. It's forward. okay. It's okay. Oh, uh, oh, oh, nice. oh, okay. I feel like there's a chance. There's oh. a chance. No, 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 no. no. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, software collision detection. Handling a large number of sprites. Each car is one of 16 directions with three possible frames of animation. Getting close. Because the yes. tires. Nice. You win, I think. I feel like, I don't know if Did I really it. earned that win, but I... <laughs> a little bit of randomness going I'll on. I'll take it. I will it's take it. vision is based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm reading some stuff out. I'll, I'll jump in in a second. Um, some other items on my wish list, NTSC and PAL uh, 60 versions. No, no, this is the worst. <laughs> I'm trapped in the wall. Multiple arena layouts. Okay. Dirt and ice surfaces. The cars would have a slight drift to them, and the dirt and ice would make the drift more pronounced. A two-player duel where you battle each other and can drive over power-ups to enhance your vehicle or hinder your opponent. Very nice. Yes, on power-ups. Uh, Single-player time attack where your goal is to drive over things that give you points. And avoid driving over bad things. That's great. AI option for car. Will be tough to make an effective opponent, but no one no, said automatic no, driving no, was 100% uh, perfect. Yeah, they're a little uh, they're a little dumb at this point. They do attack people who are already Well, you dead. know, you, you work with them. Yeah, yeah. Auto quad tire detection and handling when a quad tire is not installed. After PRG 2024, I'll post the demo ROM here for everyone to try out. In the past, my games have been fairly feature complete before I post them, but this will be the most complicated game I've made so far, so I still have some work to do. I only proceeded with game development once I run reached a stage where I was confident uh -oh. I would not run out of either RAM no, I killed myself. or more likely clock cycle processing time. Ah, oh, green. Presently, I assume Quadtari is installed. If it isn't, then each player controls two cars simultaneously. Oh! Oh! Oh, I should plug in the Quadtari then, because you are controlling two cars, it says. Is that still the case? Because it doesn't seem that way. No, no, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> Kaffman said, I just realized my Twitch session is 480p. Changed to 1080p and 60fps, then could actually see the cars. Yay! Hi. Whoa, look, at, did you see what happened? No. What? Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I just, like, I killed him and then I was fired off screen. I thought I died. <laughs> Turned out I just was off screen. So I'm good, I'm good. Oh, okay. We're back, we're back. I oh, just, big hitbox. It's just hard to, there you go. It's hard to get around. Oh, it's just hard being a little red car. It is. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. I like the bounce back when you hit something. It's a nice, it's a nice amount of bounce back. Oh, easy. It's a sit and duck. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, double no. elimination. Did I die? I double. killed myself. Double no, elimination. No. You drove too much into it. No. Okay. Okay. You give this a shot. Yep. I've got some more info, but um, nope, we're going to play against each other. Ooh. It is a four play, that's up right. to four players. So let's jump in. Let's see what color I am. I'm blue. You're red. It's the battle begins <laughs> I'm stuck on the wall oh my god <laughs> devastation is oh my god I don't know oh where am I at oh I'm still good I'm still good I'm still good oh sorry it's okay it's okay ah! <gasps> okay, yellow's the out. War we never, gotta go after green now. War never changes. <laughs> ah, 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 once I'm in the wall, it's <laughs> no, it's bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Ah, ah, come on, come on. Okay, okay. This is you and me down there. Oh, is it? Oh, no, I just self-destructed. <laughs> blue and red. Okay, okay. I just drove into the yellow car and killed myself. Skill issue. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Mike Latow's in the chat. Uh, for another five minutes, the devs in the chat. Um, what did I ask? If he fixed the thing that... Oh, press button. Um, you have to... You control two cars. I don't think that is the case. Oh, no, oh. they seem to be driving. Uh, uh, this must be an old, old info. No, oh, go I mean, on, the come wall. on, go on, me too. <laughs> At least the wall doesn't hurt you, as far as I can tell. Or the smiley. Or, or the smiley, yeah. No! 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 No, backing up! No, I'm done. Oh, yeah. That's it, that's uh, it. That's yeah. Wait, no, it's not. I'm not done. You still have some health left. I still have some. Oh no, that's it. <laughs> that is it. It's over. Oh god. Yellow gotcha. Skill issue. Skill issue. Oh yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Run. Evasion. So green's need, the lowest. Need some evasion. It's really hard to get out of the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did warped. you just teleport? I did. Vortex I found, warped. I found, Holy! Found the teleport hole. I like this smiley face in the middle. It just, <laughs> it's nice. It's just taunting us. It's like, hey, hey. you doing good with your driving? Good job. Hey, he everyone. teleported too. That's the spot. Yep. Upper left. Teleports to the upper right. Oh my god, I'm driving backwards. Whoa, he's OP. Oh no! No! no. Sometimes you no. end up reversing in. I do. No. It happens many a times. Yeah, it's like wall collision is like bouncing you back because it's you're hitting, and every time you hit, you bounce back. So it's just a constant. Oh, he eliminated me at the last second. That happens. I got him though. This is a game where like you really benefit from just hanging out and letting <laughs> it all play out. That's not a bad tactic. Conserving your energy and then. So let's see if I can just avoid the conflict. More of a pacifist build. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Technically, no. if you get yourself in the wall, or you get your block in the wall, you're pretty safe. Like, but a situa some situations it's tough to like, once you're in the wall, you're like, how do you get out? You just back all the way up. <laughs> just bounce yourself backing up all the way. But this is an early work. Wait a progress. minute, he like, did you see that? He took some out of you. What did he do? Oh, I was, oh, I was ahead and then it, I, I teleported and replaced positions. I was like ramming him and then all oh. of a sudden I ended up like. It's the bounce mechanics. For sure. It's like we traded positions. I was like, oh, in the look at these guys. Just destroying them. Boy. Oh no no! Ah. Oh, it. I got you. I'm sorry. That's okay. I just got blasted into the wall. It's it's difficult when you get in a corner. Oh, I'm hurting myself. Yeah, you. like you end up ah, just like ah, right away. The, really, in this game, like the real tactic is just like not to actually bounce against anything. If you can like not hit a wall and navigate, yeah. Because once you get going, it's like because you can't back up, so it's hard. Oh, I think I got him. Come on. But see, I had I had him, and then I we like teleported and shifted. Oh, look at him! It's in the wall. Yeah, that's it for you. And you can ram them back against it. Part of my first first demoing at PRG is A, is it fun? B, how can people break it? Well, demonstrate a few breaking. It is fun. It's fun. I think th there's some obviously some work to be done um, for wall warps. <laughs> and I don't know what can be done about, because there is no reverse. Maybe like, you could put in a slow reverse. Like just a really slow. Well, replace. once you're up against the wall, you're just screwed. I'm not gonna. You are. Me. Turning is hard because you can't turn before you bounce off the wall again. Yeah. So like here, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> and you're a sitting duck when you're in the corner against the wall. Did well, you see that? I tell he, we traded positions again. Uh, I was like, I was ramming his back, and then all of a sudden, uh oh, don't it's put just, that. It's, <laughs> it's the bounce. It's the bounce. But it's like I, when I'm when I'm like ah, ah I'm stuck in the corner in the wall ah I'm safe okay you're good you're good uh, I'm gonna hang out here oh no the wall can kill you 
That guy didn't even touch me. Yeah, because you can, like, <gasps> ram them against the wall, oh, right? No. no! No! Wall warps are a classic callback to combat. No, no, no! Oh, I killed myself. Uh. A lighter turning circle, with but with momentum. Uh, yes, a tighter turning circle. Even turning while not moving might help. Oh, yeah, because then you can actually reposition your, your yeah. stuff. I mean, it might feel tanky, though, at that point. Like... Yeah. Because cars don't do that. I mean, it's pretty tight turning, but... Like, I can't... It's hard to turn fast enough off a wall. Ah, see, I can't turn right off. I'm stuck on that wall. Yeah, like, and then I'm stuck now, but... The thing is, in this game, you just have to not, like, find a way to not hit the walls. Ah, Did you see that? Wall. I teleported again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm in the wall. I can't oh. get out. There we go. This is the house of leaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're in the labyrinth. <laughs> the labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, it's tough because like... Ooh, there's some backwards steering at times. Have you noticed that? Oh, yeah. So you steer right, but it's actually turning you left. That's interesting. Not sure. oh, that took me out. Sorry, I didn't mean to. What is this? Okay. Oh, who won? Well, we we, we went into an exchange. Nobody won. <laughs> wow, yeah, no. the first at least it reported it correctly when nobody won. <laughs> I've played a triple A games with hundred million dollar budgets this year that still have getting stuck in walls <laughs> or being ejected to the upper atmosphere. You want to play overlap the collision service in just the right way. Yeah, it is. So true. You see that all the time. Uh, maybe auto scooter controls, endless turning the wheel. Is that like tank style? We'll play one more. One more round. Oh, what? If you hold it down, it doesn't start? Interesting. Winner, winner takes all. Yep. All the for glory. What? No! Oh, <laughs> I'm we're stuck all... already. <laughs> no! Yeah, the majority of the time is trying to get yourself unstuck, I find. I feel like a like, real... I can't... And then I teleported again. I <laughs> traded in position. Ah! I'm just gonna... I'm just watching for a fun. Let's, how see, how this, let's mm. see how this turns out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a good smash in him. Oh, but I have low health now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, got him. Oh no, he's getting me! Oh, you get entangled. The entanglement uh, is what goes down, man. Yeah, because it's they're both constantly bouncing to bounce off. And then you can sometimes teleport and trade, so if you're hitting someone, all of a sudden you trade, and now you're, like, damaging them. Yeah. Did I just win? I did. <laughs> but see, do you know, like my tactic paid off. I'm like, let's let all this chaos happen. I'm just going to hang true. back and watch rogue style and then just... The famous swing set bug in GTA. Mm. Mm, interesting. Um, I think this is going to shape up to something really fun. Really fun. Especially with the Quadtari, four players. Um, the collision needs some work. <laughs> um, wall collision, car collision... Um, dual car collision just end up both dying like yeah. super quick and you can't get out of it and I'll, there was times where i was like hitting someone and then all of a sudden we would just trade and now they're hitting me i'm like what how did this happen yeah that's weird i don't know how that would happen you have to slow it down frame by frame because two cars it, what happened is probably they overlapped like yeah and then eject and passed. And then and then all of a sudden he's and it's that's it feels so demoralizing. I'm like, <laughs> I've managed to position myself in the perfect spot now I'm taking damage. Yeah. No. And you get one pixel stuck in the wall and you can't steer. And you're cooked. Yeah, you can't <laughs> steer because you're stuck in the wall and it doesn't allow you to steer. So and you get shoved backwards. Yeah, the meta of this game is actually to not collide with anything. Let everyone destroy <laughs> themselves and then come in and clean up the mess, you know. Yeah. Are all the letters done with player missiles? Uh, I, you sh you can get um, oh yeah, pop box arena, and it's six across with a bit of a space. I don't know, might be forty eight across. You might have done the left of the P with um, a missile there. I'd have to take it into the uh, Stella to figure that out.
Good job. So um, you can check that out at PRG. Um, it's a lot of fun. You got to check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we don't have four people here. We have two cats and two humans, but uh, Tari, they're, you not try? Much gr they're not great. What do you think? You'd have to be taught how to press the button for treats. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and it's not impossible. But uh, doing it with timing and joystick, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Such fine resolution can't be black background play field. That is Tari is more of a catnip Quite player, true. you know? Yeah, he's more about the bells. Okay, so let's move on to the next game. Uh, great start on that. Excellent, excellent start. Thank you for letting us debut it on the show so much you fun. can play it at prge um okay the next one is minigun minor which uh we have played on the show but this is an update to it and it is quite an update in fact to the game the new title screen as well it's hard to see the bottom after you're looking at the top. Yeah. Can you see what, what the bottom spells? It's actually inverse. You have to look, and it's surrounded by a box as well. I'm seeing just, like, <laughs> shapes of animals. I'm like hieroglyphs. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a trick in the ice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see it. Dr. Ludo's? You got it. Holy, it go. took me a second because I didn't. I was seeing the shapes, not the... Yeah, that's what your eye goes to first, right? It's it's tricky. Whoa, that's like those like cubes, you know, where you can like switch like which to side does it go? Oh yes, it's yeah. what it is. It took like your brain, and once an it illusion. switches, yeah, you have to like looking at that and then looking at the bottom. It's like whoa. Um, so this game is a 16k game. This build is from September 17th, a couple days ago. This is first post of May 7th, 2023. Uh, Doctor Ludos also did uh, Growing Ties, uh, Sheep It Up, and Time Loop, and does a lot of other systems he programs for, including the Neo Geo. Um, so he says, uh, September 17th, 2024. Hi, everyone. Since last month, I've been working hard on this game, and it will be demoed at the Atari Age booth during the Portland Retro Gaming Expo at the end of the month. Today, uh, I've just sent a demo binary to Albert. I'm happy to share uh, the progress. Uh, the binary game will be posted publicly here on the first day of PRG 2024. So in one week, you'll be able to download this. My eyes refuse to focus on Dr. Ludo. I almost need to like take my eyes and look at the whole thing. Yeah. And then Dr. Ludo's appears. But if I look <laughs> too closely on it, it turns Just... into like an eye, a bear, and then like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some patterns. Yeah. Um, so here's what I've been working on for the past month. There's a new challenge mode with 16 levels to clear. So let's jump into that. Ooh, arcade we'll or at. challenge, which one should we this do? This is a great menu because it's huge because it's using Playfield. So we've seen arcade, but we'll get into that. They've updated that too. So do challenge and I'll explain it. There's Let me 16. try level 16. I'll try level <laughs> Just one. dive right into it. You're an expert at this. You'd... Let's do it. Let's try some level one. Yep. Let's see. Have you played this? Press no, the button. button. Okay. So the button is thrust. And you can't touch the dirt. Oh, so I do I like shoot things? How yeah, you go? shoot the dirt to clear it. Yeah, you're already in the, in the trouble because you're in the dirt. Uh oh. <laughs> oh so, no. Oh, okay, no. try redo. So press a button. There you go. So your button is thrusting <laughs> plus also shooting. And you got to clear things, and you can shoot to the side, you can shoot at angles as well, but be careful, while you're shooting to the side, you're not thrusting upwards. And you've got to collect all the goodies. Um, so challenge mode, instead of making a high score, you have to collect several treasures. Um, uh, to complete a level, your score will start at a high number and will decrease every time you earn points, reach a score of zero. So you're trying to get that down to zero. Uh, also, you can't skip a treasure or a skull in this mode. If you dig past it, it'll reappear at the bottom of the screen until you collect it. Okay, so you're down to 16 points. Good, good. Um, uh, and I, I mean, it's a challenge mode. The, the game keeps track of the levels you've completed as well. Oh, great. Yes, reminiscent of Mr. Driller style gameplay. And um, also there's some gun falling games as well, where you're shooting downwards at enemies as you fall down like a mine shaft. Um, and you 
stop yourself from falling by shooting, and you shoot the enemies. Very fun. I, I have one of those games. I don't know what it's called. Though. Oh, God. You got it on the Switch or PS4 Slow or something. Slow and steady is. My... It is. There's no time limit. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, slow and steady Just wins this race. Down to eight points. You're almost okay, finished okay, the first okay, level. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, couple, we're good. More. We're good. We're, whoa, okay, it's right here. Yep. This is great news. I'm just going to clear myself in space. That's a high value one. High. One more about high value. What? Enemies. What is this? So, on this, you want to clear a bunch of room. Well, not to the left or right. It doesn't matter too much, but a lot of room downwards so that you have room to go past it, but also survive. So you kind of want to dip down and then dip back up. Oh, I see. No! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh my god, you're a pixel off each time. And then you got to be really careful as you kind of stay past it and kind of hover almost. i got to evade. I need some evasion. Okay, okay. There you go. Oh, oh too much. Oh. oh, you're still going. There you go. And then you're invincible for a bit. Uh, Thrust says, Fort say. fortunately, the left and right shots do not push push you like the down shots. That is good. You don't have to go for oh. it. Oh. Oh. There you go. You don't have to go for it, but it, as it will reappear again, if it's just too much trouble. Um, let's see. The gameplay was heavily revamped, mainly in the level design random generation. The game should be less repetitive with a wide variety of treasures to collect and more enemies to defeat. Previously, you had about a 70% chance of getting a coin. That is no longer the case. Instead, you'll have more frequent encounters with skulls and razor blade enemies, and more chances to collect other kinds of treasures. Speaking of coins, the score system was also revamped. A coin has now earned you 3 points, a diamond 4 points, and a ruby 10 points. You'll still get 10 points from killing a skull and 35 points if you defeat King Skull. Ah! Oh, oh, so one no. life left. You might don't, might complete it if you don't die. Okay, okay. Level one. Next. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. Even though it's so huge, okay, it still okay. looks good. Get myself a coin. No, what is this guy doing? Is he oh, pursuing you gotta shoot me? Him. You gotta shoot him. Oh, I have to kill shoot him. Shoot him. Get no. out of the way. Ah, you toast. <laughs> I'm cooked. <laughs> you have to get above him and then shoot him. Okay. Oh, I just panicked. I panicked. Yep. He is pretty, uh, pretty menacing. In arcade and oh. contest modes, you can earn extra lives when you reach 100, 200, 600, and 1,000 points of score. Last but not least, the game is now fully couch compliant. Well, I will believe him, and I will give him the couch compliant uh, badge of uh, honor. Of approval. Yeah, badge of approval. It's not an easy one to get, man. Can't you just go straight down now? Yes. Uh, eventually, the items will appear in your path. No. And that's how I scammed the game last time. Nice. There you go. Now you know how to handle the skulls. Oh, you get a full lives every level. That's good. Yeah, I kind of gamed the system last time I played by just going straight down until the items appeared near me. Oh, oh that crash. So I don't know if he's solved that. So I'm... I would be interested to find if you pass that gem, okay, or, or another gem, because you're going to get this one, um, whether it appears in the same um, horizontal spot. And it's like, well, you can't just do that. You, you have to go get it. <laughs> because otherwise, uh, you can do what I did and what Thomas is proposing um, that I did last time. I just go dig, dig straight down and just keep waiting till you get... Oh, those are worth big points. Ten points there. Kaffman 2D says, looks like a 16K ROM, probably default is 128 bytes of RAM. Well, I can look that up right now and tell you what um, scheme it's using. Mini Gun Miner is using F6SC. So I'm not sure how much RAM F6SC allows you. Uh, I don't think Dr. Lodos has ever been on the in the chat. Um, we got to get him in the chat sometime, yeah. doctor. Get Doc the good doctor. Well, he's busy with his patients. Right? Oh, that's what happens. He, he might actually be a doctor. Who knows? Could be, a, And you can be a doctor in a number of different things. That's true. 
not just medicine. You can be a doctor of like it's, English it's, literature. You yeah, know? it's a it's a doctorate. That just means you put in the work for it. You, that means you paid. The it's not a medical doctor yeah. necessarily. That means you paid. You paid your dues. You paid your time. And you paid your money. That's <laughs> right. Two hundred fifty six bytes. Okay, so double. The F six S E S C. Ah, because this would need a lot of RAM to keep track of every destructive element in the game. Your lives, your score, the position of you, position of the thing that you're trying to get. Granted, there's only one on the screen at a time, so it's not much. Position of that thing. Um, super card, extra RAM. Okay. I think you successfully passed it last time without dying, did you? I think I did, but did I took some damage. <laughs> I took some serious damage. Well, took a life, yes. Oh. It's reminiscent of <laughs> last encounter. The same. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Uh, no! No! You have to go above him and then move over a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, well done. I oh, you, oh, because you killed him. And you got the points. Did I? Yes. Is I'm that... to try one. Oh, holy. Okay. I'm going to try the trick that I did last time. Because you can dig down pretty fast. Oh, has he fixed it? That could be a coincidence. Unlikely, but coincidence. Hmm. No, he's done it. He knew. He knew that somebody would try and do that. that naughtiness. That's smart. So you can hold down the button and um, just keep accelerating yourself up and, and spamming over as well. Tactics. Okay, these are the tactics I need. No, it's not dying. I swear I shot it. Just a pesky. I got it there. there I noticed all those coins were like in the same spot. Yep. That's so you can't just dig down and have them reappear somewhere else. Ah, oh, so then you like align? I, I see. I because see. it, you can't just pass by. It, you have to collect them in order. And then they'll spawn in a different spot. Ah. Yes. Then the next one will be a different spot. Ah. Oh, God. Yeah, you gotta really clean up this mess. Yeah, this is a lot of dirt. It's a so very just like kind of like meditative. You sort of just like whittle away at your thing. It you is know. if you don't panic. This is quite meditative. It's really like a, a game that rewards patience until a uh, skull flies at you. Yeah. And, then, and then all of a sudden the whole, you enter a new phase. <laughs> so it's kind of like Dig Dug, kind of like... This is the good Dr. Ludos made this with Batari Basics, what someone said. Oh, did he? You can make amazing games with Batari Basic. Nobody should discount Batari Basic. Actually, most Atari 2600 games are made with Batari Basic. Yeah, just because it's basic doesn't mean it's bad. Right? No, nope. that's the... it's just another programming language. Oh, so hard. These skulls. No. Oh, I still have to kill them. Oh, my God. I don't know about that. It's, it's, <laughs> well, yeah. I died. You only think had to. You didn't redo any levels, did you? No. I my approach to gaming is like all gas, no brakes. Just go for <laughs> it. And oh my god, and it gets me in trouble. So with much. this game, it's like that's definitely. This is not an all gas, no brakes kind of game. <laughs> no, it's. This not. is like a, let's slowly carve out our path and prep out our future and like advance very slowly. Yeah. Rewards patience this game. Oh, it sure does. Ah. No! The one. No, the one. The, the oh, one God. dot. Oh, you did teleport through. That was good. Oh, because, yeah, because you have a bit of time before it starts up again. Controls in this game are so good. Um, and it's such a great idea. It's a very novel idea, too. Well, he's the same guy who made um, Growing Ties, Ooh. which is all about uh, cutting ties to the right length for your customers. Oh, I remember that game. I played so that game. So weird and unique. So, yeah. 
the person who comes up with growing a very... high sounds like a sitcom from the 70s you well, know well like... it, it's uh, uh yeah, family don't... ties and growing pains <laughs> that's the combo oh god oh no the wrong spot uh, on, quick you got him you got him you just need one more yeah you're good, you're good. so yeah that's, it is a combination of uh two 80s uh -oh. sitcoms one starring michael j fox wow that's the kind of thing that doesn't really like i mean sitcoms i, I guess they exist but it's just not really the Their same right dead is dead can be oh. no oh my god yeah sitcoms are almost <laughs> extinct well it, they just made so much more sense in that format of kind of like television right and the they did and even the structure of them is like based around like a intro and then a sequence and then they got a tag at the end after the you know it's all and also they can be shown in any order because nothing ever changes on the show That's right it's like show one to show 400 it's like yeah i know these characters it's yeah. kind of like the talk show and the sitcom is just like yeah. the, these formats that like made so much more sense in <laughs> in television yeah and, in broadcast television yeah and it's just a different world we're in now you know yeah this talk show is like you, you may as well just watch a youtuber it's because you couldn't just call up any episode you wanted right so yeah. if um if you missed a show or um you're watching it on syndication and it's a repeat you're like oh my god i missed i don't know where i am in the series and what's happened i don't yeah. want to spoil it it's like nope there's the four main characters doing exactly what they've done for five six seven years that's right don't worry <laughs> your friends are here they're yeah. not gonna change yeah you're safe it's okay it's all right i will defeat a level yes, it's will. pathetic <laughs> oh, you don't know. No, you're on the harder levels, right? Cause, oh, that's true. Cause I, I don't know how. Because I started harder. on the easy one. True. Well, you had like the triple blades, man. I never had to that deal with a triple blade. I just had. I couldn't even get past one blade. Like, good luck getting past triple. Yeah, you don't have much room with the triple blades. You, go you know, in. all of a sudden you've got Ryan Reynolds in there. Like, no, it's too many <laughs> blades. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! This oh, and when you die, it's this. It's even. He's OP. <laughs> it's even harder when you die. At the at the top of the screen, in particular, you're like, what? Do, how do I beat this guy? Okay, you just gotta get past one. Oh Got the triple blade. No, no. <laughs> you, you don't get points for that. You just gotta. You just gotta get through Ryan Reynolds. That's all yeah. you gotta do. That's all you need. I did not see the new. The new Ryan Reynolds Deadpool versus Wolverine. I haven't so. either, but it made like so much money. Yeah, it made Tanya like, did, and she said it was good. I Not think like you gotta see it immediately. Ah, it's okay. It's so okay. hard. I believe it made like one point three billion dollars. Um, which is just, it's interesting because if you look at box office stuff, like films aren't like necessarily making less money it's just that now there's a few movies that are yeah. making all the money it's become yes. this like it's really weird it's huge tent poles now it's really really weird the market it's like no risk at all like no. it's all reward no risk oh it's still risk because the movies tank all the time yeah randomly it seems but it's like for some reason there's these ones okay. that just like uh, so let's oh no oh, oh beat him okay 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 uh, oh, just got him. Wow. Well okay, done. I'm glad I didn't quit then. We ain't no quitter. Nope. Never seen that big boss. That I'll, awesome. I'll watch it on um, streaming when it comes. I just, yeah. I just kind of missed the window for it. Oh, my God. No. Why did I you used myself? your body to destroy it. <laughs> That's right. It's it's an uh, underused tactic. You took damage, but... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take the take the hit to score the damage. You True. Know? Uh oh. Uh, way over there. Yeah, the best tactic is stay in the middle, but it's sometimes you gotta go to the left. Yeah. This just how you just got bad luck, you know. I'll finish this level and then we'll go look at the other the other, um, uh, other variations the other of the game. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I mean, this is the new, the new ver new mode of this. This wasn't in here, um, with all the levels. So that's why we'll concentrate more on this one. 
So how was your how was your time off? How was your oh it was good. Vacation? I started um I pl I've been playing this new game that I'm Ooh. really enjoying. I started playing the Alan Wake series, dude. Oh, really fucking good. I have not heard of that. What kind of game is? Oh, it? they're like these um uh these kind of meta games where you're like a hard boiled detective. Oh. But like and you're collecting like manuscripts of like the story that you wrote, but like okay. it'll tell you the future by the manuscripts you find. Whoa, they're, what? It, it, they're like dark. <laughs> City meets like friggin' it's really cool. It's by the same guys who made all the Max Payne Mix, games. Mixed with Stranger Than Fiction. Stran movie. sort of, and then also like like some Stranger Things. Like it's very, very cool. And there and the the first game I played, which was like like it was a good game, but the second one is fucking mind blowingly interesting. Oh. Just the art direction in particular is a whole other level of what I've played, like the lighting and stuff. It's really been really, really interesting. <sighs> triples in a row but i think I've, I've got the tactic down for the triple now yeah i just i just kind of ran out of like i just needed a new game and started playing that okay. and i was like yeah. Ooh, really really nice to kind of play something that's like in the kind of noir detective yes. kind of like world and way more narrative based which i enjoy because i play a lot of just mechanical games but it's nice to do something that's really got a great rewarding story you know yeah tanya's gotten into oh, no, it's a bad spot to have that guy no Okay, made it to level five. That's it. I feel like six at least. At least. Yeah. What's number sixteen look like? Let's. Oh, it can jump right to sixteen. Okay. Well, let's do it. Oh, four hundred and eighty. Oh, mean, that's, that's uh, why. Okay, so we don't want to do that. That's there's, what, there's. It just the... increases in the number of things you have to get. Oh. oh. Okay, that's bad news. <laughs> Uh, what do you do? <laughs> you just don't do anything. You're dead. <laughs> no. If X, -File, X Files was a game starring Stephen King, that's his. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's pretty much the thing. Oh, did I start it over accidentally? It's just a combo of a lot of interesting things. And the second game, I just I've been just blown away by the art direction and mm. the, I'm like, there's just the levels of. I very rarely do I play a game, and I just kind of want to wander around and look at like the walls and the. Cause they do like graffiti and weird things and and the, and you like go through a door and all of a sudden you're like on the street but you're like inside a thing like it's it is this like no. mind warping experience so we've got arcade and we've got contest i don't remember contest uh, i'll hand it back to you for that one it's treat time some oh Yay. good timing for that Cats know what this is. Let's cat put these time. away. Treat time, cat time, if gamma dev. If you want to get uh, some uh, the greenies. The greenies down and the bells down. I'll take Ooh. all this stuff away and clear some room for cats. Here you go. Here are the bells. Thank you. And I'm going to shut the door so this guy doesn't run out. How's the spread been with these guys? How are they well, doing? Well, I am thinking of altering it. Um, because this guy is a monster. He is so good well, he, 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 he that he destroys you start him. You start him when they're young, and it's just... So I think I'm going to alter it today. Um, I was going to do it before the show, but let's uh, go to this. And what I'm going to do is just give Atari one category for win. Okay. Because he hardly ever wins. So Ocean's let's Eleven. Do this. Hey, buddy. And then do an Atari One Plus. Cat. And we're gonna give Sid three categories. Because that's how it's kind of shaping up. So a Sid this is one how, to two. This is how bad it's been. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. Sid three to four. And then Sid five plus. Well, you start he has done all that. He's done one by five. Now he also won by like eight last time because I don't know what was going on with him. Too much catnip was what was going yeah, on. Yeah, but it was rare. Uh, altering the agreement, yes, but before you bet on it. So that's fair. Okay, so let's start the prediction. Prediction, prediction starts. Started. There you go. Start betting on your cat, and I will bring up the cat. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's how, that's crazy. What is this? <laughs> we gotta, gotta do it. Gotta do we gotta, gotta, gotta do. do it because it is the only way for this cat. He's so good. He's so good at ringing the bell. He's a fast eater, 
he doesn't even crunch it. You listen to him, it's like go, gone. Um, Atari takes his time. He also bats the treat all over the place. Look at this, dude. 84%? 87? 3 to 4? Sid? Sid on 3 to 4. It's a safe bet. It's a safe bet, but Sid 5 plus is not out of the question. Sid 1 2 is not out of the question. And Ooh, Atari 1 uh, plus little, uh, is definitely not out of the question now. Hey, buddy. Hey. Not yet. He's hey, like, oh, I love the smell of those. Give me some now. You know the rules. Got to ring the bell. He's like here. He's like, the, but the, the source, the, the <laughs> this well. Is, this is where they originate. The, well. the spice. Let the spice Let flow. The, he's like the whole, <laughs> what is whole this? enchilada there. The whole deal. You know what we're going to have to do, buddy? We're going to have to cover this. Yeah, it's making him too excited. Oh, okay. We've covered the spreads. All right. Okay, we got a total. Uh, we've got people on the SID 5 Plus. We've got majority of the SID 3 4, which is pretty safe. Yes. Pretty safe. But I'm you, don't, a, I'm you guessing, don't get the returns, though. That's the thing. Because everybody's betting on it. So I cool. think a SID 5 Plus is a nice one to throw. Uh, little, it, it is. Little, I'd, throw a, little, I'd throw a ten, tenner on that you one. You know, a nice. I would, I'd throw nice a tenner option. on an Atari 1 Plus, too. Um, little monkey, what are you doing? Got 15 seconds left. What are you doing, you little monkey? To place your bets. He's gearing up. He's 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 thinking about it. Okay, we're almost here. Oh, that's oh, he's uh, ready to go. Are you ready, cat? Are you ready? Okay. Oh, and submissions are closed. Oh, we got some late comers to sit. Okay, plus. okay, okay. Okay, ready, cats? Oh, they're both ready. They have indicated they're both ready and. Go! Watch those bells. They're quick. Oh, Atari's, Atari's off to the races with one. Okay. Was that a Sid? The Sid is... It's tied up 1-1. One, one. They're both off to it. It's Puss and Bet's time. And Sid has got two points now. Atari's come back to the bell for another point to tie it up. Did he get it? Can he... Yes, there. he does tie it up. And he bats it away, of course. Sid is pushing the bell. That doesn't work. He's got to ring the bell and make the noise. He's pushing it again. Sid. Oh, he's confused. Atari's come back. Okay. No, he rings it just in time. Oh, no, Sid Atari it. stole it. Stolen Valor. Oh, no. Sid, ring the bell again. Oh, there you, there go, you go. See, that doesn't benefit Atari. Three points for Atari, but he does. Another one for Sid. Five, three for Sid. He's ahead by two points at the moment. Oh, he's ahead by three points. It's six, three for Sid. That was not a bell ring. Sid's back for another Sid. one. Seven, three. Oh, Atari catches up. It's seven, four for Sid now. Three points separate the cats. Oh, Four Sid. points separate the cats. Atari rang it, but oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. It's, it's a subtle ring. Eight five. It's it's hovering. Oh, now it's game point. Nine to five. If it, Sid can get it before Atari does, this will put it in the high there bracket. There we go. It oh. is ten to five. It's over. Holy. Wow. Okay. Okay. It was down to the Did wire. You... Yeah, you throw a couple out there for congratulatory measures for the cats. Oh, some, some grumbles there. Okay, stealing a treat is totally a benefit. Yeah, for the cats, that's for sure. Hold on, I gotta go wash my hands real Good quick. Good idea, stinky stink. Get rid of the cat stink. Nobody wants that. Get rid of the green. So let's see who won for five plus. Wow, I didn't know if it was gonna happen. Neither did most people. So it was twenty percent of people bet on. Or twenty percent of the bets went for Sid five plus, so not a not. Alternative: Can you give Atari two points for every ring? Whoa, that would change it quite a bit. That's the game. OP. So the total bets. Let's see. It went to Rich So Cash, hey. and I know that they have been winning a lot because that name comes up, and three others. So it was a five to one ratio payoff for that. Somebody, does someone good. have a spreadsheet going on? You know oh, what I mean? You maybe. could, you could get if you started to build some data. Ooh. ooh, ooh, somebody could. You could easily, and it wouldn't be hard to begin. And if you have a sample size of maybe even like ten, that would yeah. give you some very interesting data. Yeah. Then if you to expand that to twenty, fifty, oh, you're good. You'd then win. You can, you'd win more than you bet every time, and you just put down a ten. 
That's right. Just figure just out the like, you time. know, and all you got to do is just like note it. Be like, hmm, on this day, oh, just, just not say anything. Throw it into your the Excel big and, cat data and but start is, to start to calculate the I mean, percentages. You're not going to get every time because there's it is quite randomish, and I'm trying to even it out so we get a good variable. You can see the cat distribution <laughs> curve though. Yep. We can see like, oh, what percentage is happening here? Good. And That'd then you could interesting. Eat, and you could like start to build correlations like on what day. Oh, and catnip. Yeah, before, catnip. catnip you know, you can start to like whether they've been given the ball treat before. Yeah, you can. Now get people like count cards. You could like and the time lapse between the catnip. And, oh yeah, you could get really deep into it. And you could figure out and I, and with that data, you can win. Oh, big percentage wise, you, you got a, you got an edge. <laughs> Clean up and channel points. There you go. Hey, you're the quiet part out loud. <laughs> Gamma Dev's up to no good. Oh, and then <laughs> we can look and see who's been winning. Yeah. Ooh. Then we'll know. Ooh, it's yeah. the relative humidity in BC. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. On any given day. Uh, okay. It's like that, that character from Casino who's just like... He's <laughs> yep. Watching. Waiting. He knows all getting of Getting kicked out. Getting beaten. Bro broken hands all in the, the back room. All the inside scoop. Let's do contest. Oh my god. Oh, I got him. It's tough when you don't have a complete vertical path uh, to get those mini skulls. Oh, yeah, I was going to give this to you. I will give it to you. In a oh, that's second. okay. So I want to read about a contest. Contest. This is a deadly spot. Oh, you can shoot up, but. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, well done! Oh, okay. Is this like high score contest? Maybe. Let me read about that one again. In arcade and contest modes, you can earn extra lives. Okay, when you reach certain amount. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Contest mode, maybe. Like if people are competing, then it keeps the highest score. Yet. Yep. No. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, you shoot up. You move over. Uh, uh, yeah, it's deadly. You go right to the top, and then you have to move over a bit because he's tricky. Uh, because he positions himself just beside your bullet. He's like, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Man. No, I didn't pay attention. Oh, uh, go to the top. There you go. Okay, we he only got takes him. like three shots. We got him. It becomes hard to hard to defeat. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Is it every second shot is a skull? Whoa, that was close. So maybe you can kind of prepare for a skull if it's every second one. So if this one's going to give you a skull afterwards as well, you need to get back to that center spot pretty quick. Oh! oh caught the edge. Catch the edge again. Oh, no, no, no skull. Maybe I have to trigger it by going down a bit. What well, was a skull every second one? Not this one. Blade. Yeah, those the blades are easier on the sides. You have to go on the sides oh. on the triple blades. Okay, so go back. No! Oh no! <laughs> Death! Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't know why it doesn't. That's the problem. I can't back. So what do we do? Uh, we're gonna go to arcade. Hopefully it's working now. Thank you, Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. You always got our back. Yep. Let me know if it's good now. Oh. Try it. That's it's so hard. At least I got him. I'm not sure what the difference is between contest and arcade. Ah, I thought it was safe. I thought it was safe. You're never safe. <laughs> no. So let me see if I can open it up and read the arcade and contest modes are. Uh, 
uh, challenge mode, gameplay revamp, arcade and contest. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Uh, Erlen, uh, Thomas says, Erlen, did you ever witness Atari winning yet? Never. <laughs> Not once. That should also be taken into That's account. That's a huge with factor. Your, with your spreadsheets that Atari never wins on Erlen's day. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it once. <laughs> Not one time, actually, if That's I think about really it. really crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Like, even, why, when why? I'm, even when I'm watching not on the stream, if I'm like, if I'm like, it's never even witnessed it. From if I'm afar. watching Twitch, it's why like sometimes if I am, I'll no. just shadow vote because that's just right. Be like, that's why he told Harry wins. Damn it, he didn't win again. So yeah, you'll have to factor that in. Yeah. So I remembered right and won. Oh, well, it's reduced down to one category now with a target. category. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, speaking of movies, oh. okay. We're good. We're okay, good. Okay, okay. We're, we're going to move on to the rest of the demo. Actually, you keep okay, okay. Rest of the demo games. They'll be at the Atari Age booth at PRGE. And the first one up is let me go to my notes. Pas de deux. Pas de deux. Pas de deux. De deux. De deux. Is Shattered Earth. Frantic by frantic. Spiceware. Frantic. Yo, We're do it spicy. In alphabetical order. Let's do it. So this is Berserk and Frantic. Uh, Berserk and the other one. So uh, we have played this before. Let's go to this. Go up to the top. Go to the other walls. There we go. Um, one homing missile. Uh, wall flicker, we'll move that down to one, three, three. There, it's not so fast. Five robot shots, yeah, um, sure, put stealth on, let's go hard, hard mode. Put up the lives, though. And bonus life, yeah, keep it low so you can get it. Oh, frenzy and berserk equals frantic. Ooh. Okay, start her up. Oh, that flicker's... Oh, stealth. No, maybe we don't want to use stealth. <laughs> that's that's not as much fun. Let's turn off stealth. There we go. Okay. I like to see the robots. So how do I do this? I got to just get shoot, around it? Shoot. You got to shoot them. And don't run into the walls. The walls are deadly. Oh, oh yeah, and the skull. I oh, that came fast. Wow. And some of the walls bounce. And some of them you can shoot out. The bouncing ones are the ones that are flickering. And uh, the solid ones are the walls you can shoot away. I gotta get, I gotta get, before the robot comes, I gotta get going. Gotta and it always going. comes in the top where you entered in. Ah, ah. So you want to get away from where you entered in as quickly as you can. Got to be the health of you. Oh, homing missile. You have to shoot those. The, uh, uh oh. No! No, I've been blocked! <laughs> oh yeah, you can't go out the way you came in. Okay. Oh. No, you can't hang around there. Holy! You're gonna be in trouble. Okay. So this is by Daryl Spice Can I kill Jr. myself with the shots? Uh, if they bounce back, yes. Oh my god. In hard mode. It's okay. Oh, when you die, it opens back up. <laughs> okay. Let me give it a try. Okay, yeah, you're... <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> Skill issue. Yeah, you gotta get moving. And you can kind of use the walls oh, to yeah, your you advantage. Can pierce through. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, I shot myself. It happens. So dumb. But they can shoot out the walls too. So you gotta be careful with that. That they're gonna shoot. Classic through. game, man, this one. Oh, it's so good. It's one of those OG games that it, just like never gets old. No, it's it's great design. It just makes sense. It's so rampable too. Like you can really customize it to be like as easy or as hard as you want. Oh yeah. You can get the their shots going faster, you can get them going faster. Um, you feel the pressure and heat with the skull. Yep. Mr. Smiley Face coming after you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you can shoot the shoot shoot him in this game. I always forget. Oh no! Oh, only once though, I guess. Oh no, evasion! Oh no, you just have to shoot him enough. Oh, and then he now moves, he's... comes back faster. Oh no! Oh. This is a gorgeous game. The graphics are so detailed. It's crazy to think this. this is 2600, right? Like it really is. Like it looks like a much more advanced system because our, of the I, animation. I love this character design of this guy too. It just is just like this. Feels like that classic like nineteen seventies like space hero. Oh yes, you know like with the boots, the red boots. You know the spandex. I'm and here to save all of you. <laughs> Definitely enough challenge for anybody who wants to pick this up and play it. Oh oh, one more. Uh, I can't get him. Will I be able to get him? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I've, maybe. I've got a question for yes. chat that I'd love to get an answer to. Ooh, Out yes. of everyone's, like, I'm not, I think modern games, retro games, doesn't matter. What are um, some amazing two-player games? Like, games that are just, like, incredible for two people to play? Because I mostly play solo games, but I've been wanting to, like, play with people. Like, what are some of the best, like, two-player games out there that people can think of that are, like, just fun and, like, narrative-based or puzzle-based? It's like, what are, what are some good two-player games you can play two-player bowlers too. that's true um are you talking about co-op local co-op two-player or um, online online would be okay. nice but also you could do like like a local one that would be would be fine as well but i'm just like i mean like portal is a good one like portal it is, is, a, is that's a, great... a good co-op game yeah it takes two is excellent okay i've never heard of that one i'm gonna note that any of the lego games yeah the lego games for sure Brothers, a tale of two sons. Uh, hmm. Really wanted win a level. Yeah, because I, I was looking at that same developer did like uh, I think a way out. Nice. Got it. I was looking at that one too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's all grayscale. There's special rooms where you can like destroy the center. Yeah, two nerds don't have two. two that's my issue. <laughs> yeah, but I've just I'm, I'm I've I've made a few friends now that I can start playing some oh, games some, with online. Some so I'm, I'm like, hmm, that would be nice to sort of see because I was trying to think through the options and I was, like, I was like, yeah, I mean like. <laughs> You don't feel closer after playing a game of chess. Is the only problem. <laughs> Not a lot of narrative uh, elements None to that game. Journeys. Oh, there you go. There's the production thing. Destruction. No. Oh, I thought the robot stopped shooting after you destroyed it. It's something else that stopped shooting. stop moving for a bit looks like yeah you've halted them oh oh you gotta get out of there the skull it's gonna skull got them all run okay it, it shuts them down they can still shoot them i think Mario Kart, Mario Party, oh, Switch Sports, yes. Kirby Downhill. That's something that the Switch really does well is, it is really creating. Does. And that's, yeah. It's got a lot of great multiplayer games. And they set it up so you, like, they literally include two controllers so that you can play multiplayer games with the Switch. They know what they're doing. And we've always bought, like, uh, Nintendo console because of that, so Tanya and I can both play. Okay, let's move on to the next game. On the hunt for Bernie. I had to hide Bernie for a couple of weeks. Because he was being relentlessly hunted down. Bernie! And uh, that was not good. So the next one is Oh Shoot! Oh Shoot! Which is a two-player game. Oh Speaking Shoot! Of hey! Games, let's get into it. Look at those big graphics. Ooh. Very nice and moving. Okay, by Philip Meyer. So, um, let's play the basic game first. Is there like... Oh, that's right. Okay. Let's... Oh, yeah, you can do it by joystick. Sorry, kid. So we want two joysticks there. 
So how does it, what's it say? Uh, auto, manual, fast, slow. There's lots of options. Where is it? Um, so you can see the two joysticks beside the machine. There's just Ooh, one right now. Oh, I see. So when it goes to the two. There you go. Okay, so let's try. That realm. Let's try manual, You slow. want effects. Uh, manual is... Um, flight type manual. Fly any direction or auto. Horizontal speed is constant. So probably manual is what you want. And slow. Let's try this. Let's Perfect. See. And with the effects. Because there's some trippy things going on. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't mean to. Me? I didn't. <laughs> no, well, that's the name of the game. Oh my god. And this game has... Uh, it's the demo version that we're playing. Um, this game has, like, a ton of different screens. Your guys... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, gotcha. The the per whoever has the... Whoever's got the big guys, OP. <laughs> Oh my god, Carolyn has found his game. No, I don't know. It's <laughs> luck. It's pure luck. <laughs> <laughs> Destroying me. Uh, I am playing not defensively. Very dumb. I'm like running into the bullets. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, the effects in this game are so good. Definitely taken from like the demo scene. Oh, I killed myself. Oh. And this shake of the screen after you die. Yeah, it's super slick game. Very reminiscent of like Archon. And I mean, obviously, combat. Any two player games in an arena. Evasion. Evasion build. Evasion build. <laughs> You're able to swap sides and, and then you shoot in the opposite direction. Oh, yes. Yeah. I need to catch up. I feel like the big guy is a lot stronger. Yeah. Just because you could, because you're out of range, right? Because see, like the big this this guys these guys have limited ranges, but the big guy oh, has like do they? yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, double elimination, double kill. See, like you have a oh, longer range, so whoever's the big guy has a huge advantage. I'm I gotta close the distance. I think I'm slower though. I'm like I got I'm like. I'm Mike Tyson. I got a small reach. <laughs> Quite powerful. No! Oh! Is it to 15? can't remember. Maybe 21. Damn it. Where he's in the protection program. Oh! It's not to 15. Uh oh. He's not paying attention to the yeah. elements. Because that's whoa. the thing is ah, the environment. Yeah, because like I would have gotten you if, if I was like if my range was better. Yeah. Whoa. Ah. Oh. I shoot you and I eliminate myself, making it pointless. Twenty. Hey. Okay. Nice. Sick. Okay. Let's do another one. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Let's go to auto. Oh, what is AA? Um, assistance plus helps the corresponding player avoid obstacles and missiles. No, 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 no. No. Uh, we want fast with effects. Uh, shot plus is. Do you want to try auto speed? Auto slow, slow shot sure. plus. Sure. Auto no auto fast. It's just so we can show all of that. Yeah, cool. perfect. Wait. Oh, <laughs> you have to keep moving. It forces you moving horizontally. Oh. <laughs> no. We have to avoid each other too. That's the. Thing. Oh shit! No, I'm gonna hit the wall. Oh. and with the environmental stuff coming. Oh. Oh no. Smiley face, dude, got us. No, Dad. This is a much faster game. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the mistakes. So many mistakes. Mistakes were made. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, minigun miner. Sorry. I will change that. Don't hit me. Uh, I Don't won't. Me. I won't. I won't. No. Don't hit me, bro. Thank you. There we go. Oh, we just. Stalemate. No, I died. No, oh, I killed myself. Into the... 
Oh, oh got you on the backside. Oh. <laughs> Double elimination. Oh. oh, what happened? I pressed up and I went down. Oh, I swear. I swear I up and oh. went down. <laughs> this is beer carnage. It is madness. <laughs> this is madness. <laughs> But we didn't lose a point, so that's good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> Just trying to skirt it close. Nice. No! Nice. Actually, maybe. Wrecked hit! Well this time. No! no. Oh. And I crash it. Oh, Skull Monster. Ah! Ah. Uh. Double eliminations are quite a possibility uh -oh, in this uh -oh, game. Uh oh, it's this could be it. This is game point. No, yes! oh, good work. So a different. Check out my oh shoot, oh shoot blog on Atari Age. Oh, very nice. Yeah, fantastic explosion effect. This, the game is it looks simple, but there's a lot of variables going on and there's a thousand different screens on the full version really fun which i'm guessing will be one demoed at atari age booth is the full version uh the next game we're going to be playing is pad de deux by thomas out. yench tommy resident chatter so there's lots of different levels. Uh, have you played this one before? Never played it. I would definitely recommend starting level one. Okay, is this just level one right yeah. here? Yeah. So you rotate your two balls and avoid things that are coming down the screen by man by maneuvering past it. <laughs> no! Oh, you're no! killing it! No! Okay, this is not easy. This is, oh. this is gonna... Thomas says, uh, oh. unfortunately, Pado de hasn't changed in the last year. The first musician I found didn't even start. The second one's postponing uh -oh. over and over again. Um, oh, I see rotation. That is... Un yeah, you gotta keep 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 rotating when you have the same in a row. Oh, Just keep, keep I see, spinning. I see. Oh, this game breaks the brain. Oh, yeah, it is awesome. No, I gotta oh. keep rotation. Okay, yeah, okay. Keep moving. That's okay, Thomas. I mean, it, it, I don't think it's been demoed at PRG. Did, was it demoed last year at PRG? And they're pretty much spaced, so you can keep rotating. Now, if you fail too much, you get kicked back to a, an earlier level. But if you keep going... You get to, oh, not too much! Oh, oh no! Mistakes were Just made. missed it! The last one. I like the music as it is. It's <laughs> simple. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Level one, three. This is a stressful game. Holy. Oh, it was there last year Holy, already. this is stressful. Oh, well. People who haven't seen it get to uh, experience it at PRG. It's a great pick up and play game, and it makes you want to play it more and more because you feel that, yeah, I was the one that made the mistake. Uh, you've over-rotated. Uh, oh, right at the end, right at the end. No, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, no. okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold. Did it kick you back. Hold, no. hold on. Don't hold worry. On here. I could tell everyone was worried, but you don't. Nope. Have nothing to worry about. Oh, you're almost done. <laughs> Down to twelve percent. Oh. Now you're kicked back a level. Kick back. Yep. It's uh, you've been demoted. Back to level one one. No, oh, you've started over completely. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Don't worry. You can tell everyone's worried. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> yep, calm down everyone. It's all good. There we go. Back to one, two. Oh! Uh, I, I, I just, I didn't commit to the rotation. Yeah, you gotta that commit, but not overcommit. Oh! Overcommitted. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't panic. Yeah, this game breaks your brain. Ah! Didn't go back. I, I, I <laughs> felt like I did, but... Oh, okay, you're done. I'm you're done. done. You're done. Please change the left difficulty. Oh my god, why is it on AA? What's AA? I don't 
don't have the instructions. Oh my god, what? How come I can't change we have an, the level? We've got an orbit. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go for four question mark. Oh, oh my god, a whole other level. Oh uh, maybe I shouldn't have done four question mark. I question everything. Uh maybe I should lower down my level. Oh my god, it's so hard. Oh my god, I don't even know what to do there. Stop it. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god. This is a good game. Oh, too high, too close. Yeah, it's very, very good. But man, is it hard on the high levels. Oh. Feeling sorry for I love me. things with such simple mechanics that like end up being like deceptively complicated. Damn it. Oh yeah. You just it's just left and right in this game. But man. And when you nail it, you feel like a so wizard. Good. You're like, ah, oh, I'm Damn undefeatable. It. Oh, it's so hard. What does the left difficulty do? I didn't explain. All we know is we should change it. <laughs> That's right. And we did, and... Was it fast? Like, this is, this is hard. You're also, I jumped to four, so who knows? Ah! That's true. Ah, it's different now! Ah, oh, it's so hard! Okay, we're doing a different level. It's too oh, hard. it was a circle. It's too hard. It's just cat. It's just just eye candy. Too. Yeah, I did notice that that circle that like you know what I mean. Oh, like the, it that shows the there. it shows the rotation that you okay. can do. Yeah, that's which, much better. Which is eye candy, but also there is some advantage in that you can see like the sort of like the circumference that you can you can move. Yes, you see where. I mean, I don't know. Like rotating. you gotta you gotta just feel it out though for sure. Like. <sighs> It ain't easy. Level two. No, holy. Falling blocks, yeah. Uh, the one that gets me uh, is invisible falling blocks. What? Yeah. How, Deal how, with how that. is that allowed? It's not. It's, it's OP. It's illegal. It's illegal. It's OP. <laughs> it's not fair. Uh, kick back down. Was I? No, I can't. Wrong way. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I already made it here. Things are kicked back. Things are working. Things are coming together. You say that, but I don't believe it. I believe it. I'm a believer. Damn no, it. I was certain that wasn't gonna <laughs> move. I was certain it was the other one. Yeah. You never know unless you like memorize the levels. Yeah, this one What's does like be? does benefit to have like a. No, <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked back soon. <sighs> Two, three. I'm at forty-five percent life, so that gives me a bit of wiggle room, but I don't know about it. Oh my god, okay, you just you just rotate just No Damn it, I was doing so good. Yeah, you just gotta keep on rotating. Oh, wrong way. <sighs> just skirted it. You made it, you made it. Two four. Oh, did I tell you I think 
think I did tell you we played a game that had the Assault on Precinct 13 oh, music doom, 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 in it. Doom, doom. Oh, that's the best. And I can't man. remember what game now, but it. I have to remember that. Oh, it we gotta, we gotta, we gotta play that sometime just to <laughs> just to hear it. Oh, it's one of the best <laughs> loops. <laughs> oh no, I got kicked way back. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next okay, game. Cool. But that is endless, endless fun because it's got a randomness oh, in it. Uh, next one's Robo Tito okay. from Vladimir Zuniga. Vladimir. And this uses a mechanic he has not had on any other Ooh. games before, which is shooting up to the top and walking along the ceiling with your grappling hook. So you go to the top, then you move. And then when you get to the edge, you fall off. Or you can push down to manually fall off. No. There go. And that's where I was trying to remember where the thriller dance was from. It's from Robo Tito. Oh, that's great. In his uh, in his new game. You're a natural. Have you played this one? No, I haven't. Okay, you're a natural then. 3D spinning skulls. No. Ho ho ho! Yes. That's the dancing. Beat me to it, BR Pocock says. Yeah. What is going on here? Welcome back, ITC. What's oh, going on here? Pull it down. Now, there's a time moment. I'm quite sure. Go, go, go. Oh. No. Okay. I think this one's. Uh, oh. If you miss it, it's over. It's over. Speaking of, James, have you played any more KGOB to check some of the things I mentioned? No, I haven't had time, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Have not because we uh, the game crashed on level uh, uh, oh. on level eight of oh there you go that's faster <laughs> of uh, night night on board oh no reset oh, oh. Uh, thirty squares of fate. Um, it crashed on level 8, and ITC had some similar experiences, but we need to 100% verify. But Vladimir is away right now, so Vlad. I think. So he isn't able to correct it. But you can win the game, 30 squares of fate. Ooh, which way? Up or down? I feel like up. The lightning bolts. Yeah. Gotta have lightning bolts in a in a VHZC game. This is just a run for it. Run! Come on! Run, Forest! Come on! Come oh, on! Oh, nice bounce! Boing, 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 splat! Poor guy. Ah, yeah. made my right choice. Screw in the screw. Or push in the push in the push in the bolt. Push in the bolt. What what changed? Uh, something. Some something you couldn't pass before. There we go. Oh, and speaking of movies before, uh, we're on. Tomorrow is day ten. Oh, really? Of <laughs> Martin Scorsese. How are you feeling about it so far? What's happening in day ten? Big old mix. Go! No! no I thought I, I could just do it. Run for it. Um, the Irishman. Oh yeah, classic. Day ten. And a. Um, Bob Dylan movie. Oh, oh, that was close. Bob Dylan, either concert or or, or biopic, something. Uh, I'm not too enthused about that. He Bob said, Dylan, such an interesting filmmaker. Hey, like it must be a concert because we saw a biopic of him. He he is. He loves music documentaries. Um, and he loves his. Um, gang films. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't you find a secret passage? Nope. Is that it? Did we miss something? Or I mean, something I, way I, back. I, I, oh, there was a blockage, I think, right at the beginning. I bolted. Whoa, by a pixel. Whoa, it just fits right there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Currently, you can only win the game if you manage to land on the boss square while at level 10 and haven't gone up a level. Yes. So you have you played it again to verify that since we've last talked? What's oh, going on there? Oh, oh, I think you have to go up above. Up 
the bottom. Oh, there that makes sense. It okay, is. okay. There's the secret passage. Not so secret. What have been the surprises for you out of all the Martin Scorsese films? Like, what are the ones that you're like, oh, this is like lauded as amazing and I hated it? Or what is like the ones that you're like, oh, this is like, no one's talked about this movie and it's actually really good? I will have to burn up the, the list because it's hundreds or dozens of hours. So let me just bring up my list of movies and then I can kind of reference Ghost. Reference the list a bit better. Um, well, I'm not, I haven't been really enthused about his, um, music documentaries. They're, they're okay. <laughs> um, let's see. I'd never seen, uh, vinyl. A pilot, it, he did the pilot on that. It's about the uh, oh. music of the 70s when uh, rap, punk, and one other form of music emerged. Electronic music in the early 80s. Um, and running a record label at that time. And I just saw the first episode. I actually want to watch more of it. Um, let's see. Wolf of Wall Street, second viewing. What do you think? Not as good as I remember the first viewing. Still very good movie. Very, very good movie. And very funny. I, I don't remember it being so funny, but Wolf of Wall Street Jonah is Hill so is just... funny. Oh, John Hill's great in that. Um... Hugo, I'd never seen before. Hugo's interesting, hey? It's very sentimental. It's a kid's movie. I did not like it. <laughs> yeah, it's very sentimental. It is, yeah. Okay, you're done this. Okay, okay. We played enough of that. Um, excellent, excellent game. As always, VHZC uh, knocks it out of the park. Uh, next one's Shattered Earth by Kara Yojimbo. Yojimbo! Black and white game. Oh, it can be black and white. Let's change it to black. Maybe not. Maybe I can't. Well, it's coming. I think if you do select or something before you play, then it's black and white. Oh, gotta rescue those guys. Oh, don't go oh. into the. Don't go into there. Wait for it. He'll come back. He'll come back around. You gotta pick up th three, three of those guys. Okay. I think looks, like, looks like I got limited fuel. Is this the case? Yeah, you have some limited time. Got to go to rescue those guys. Don't get hit by that. There you go. Uh, there you go. Collect my one friends. more, and then you got to find the mothership and bring them all back. Oh to no, the mothership. mothership! Where's my guy? And it is actually a maze, a limited maze, and I believe it wraps around. So okay, you do cool. want to explore, and then when you find those guys, shoot lasers, but not on this level yet. Next time, shoot lasers across. What's this? Oh, oh, don't go in that. I'm it's definitely gonna, not the mother's going to stay away. Yeah. Where's my other guys? We're uh, going to die. Yeah, you're running out of fuel. Running out of fuel. There it is. Oh, oh no. Oh, you got okay. it. Oh, now you're How do I get in the back? red. Now you got to find the mothership. It might have been that whirlpool, but I don't think so. Oh, no, the randomness. Oof. Oh, what? Oh, you ran out of fuel. Give it another go. You did really well. Okay, okay. Wait, okay. wait, wait for it. I think there is a black and white switch though. No, don't oh, start. sorry. Don't start. Uh oh. Oh, play again. Oh, right off the bat. Nice find. Oh, no, you ran into the no, danger. No, no. If you're really careful, you can wiggle your way through some of those rocks. Not recommended. Risk reward, say. though, right? Like just not worth it whatsoever. Yeah, it's interesting with like Wolf of Wall Street, where it's like, how much is this celebrating this, and how much is this critiquing it? Like it. His his moves are always riding that line, and it's always 
you know, the stuff that they're doing is never supposed to be celebrated, but it is shown. It's, it is like, oh, nice it, it is thing. glamorized, you know? It is a lot. And it's like this, and it, but, but and it seems like he's always has this like cake and eat it too kind of thing. Where it's like, <laughs> well, we're, we're critiquing these guys. Well, <laughs> That's right. oh, four. Give me, give me my... Um, what else? Oh, public speaking um, was a documentary about Fran Dershowitz. Is this it? Is this it? Yes, go for it. Oh, you did it! I saved all my guys. Okay, okay. I'll let you play, and once you die, we'll move move on. Oh, you found Give me my again. guy. Um, I I found her a bit. Uh, oh my god, you're killing it. I found her a bit. Um. Pretentious. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really enjoy that one too much. Um, and there was one about what? Yeah, on the second level they shoot. Oh. Yeah. Got scared. I'm scared. They shoot too. Oh my guy. Hey. No. Um, departed. It's just as good as always. Oh. The original's way, 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 way better. But his version is very, very good. Oh, that one moves now. Everything's danger now. Danger, Will Robinson. Um, Shutter Island, I've never seen before. Oh, that's an interesting one, hey. It's I a, liked it. It's a bit of a like, it's it's a bit of a cheap trick, but also it like, is. I don't, I forgive it. Like, it really is quite. The journey is fun. Yeah. The cheap trick. It, it's cheap. It's super cheap. It's been done a billion times before in many movies. Very video game kind of. Do you know what I mean? Like I could really, yeah, really see that being like a like a like an Xbox game where like you could you discover adapt it into a into a. It, video it game. almost would make more sense as a video game, actually. It would. Like what's what's? Well, I can't give it away if anybody hasn't seen it because it ruins the movie. Word guess. Word guess. Now we can have player participation from the Ooh. chat on word guess. Okay, let's. We can do it. So Press. This is Fire! By I will do box. it! Okay, what do I gotta guess? Okay, so there's no time limit. We gotta figure out a five letter word. It's it's like, uh, I, was forget, I forget the name of it now. It's a thing that was massive a couple years ago. Now you never hear about it at all. And you wanna pick common letters. There's very good um, words to start on. Wordle, thank you. Ah, uh, friend Leibowitz, not Dershowitz, yes. It was a Witz. Break. Oh, okay, so you got A, but it's not in the right place. So B is wrong, R is wrong, E is wrong, K is wrong. So you probably want to throw in an O or an I, a word with an I. And probably A is the second letter, so probably think of a word an A in it. By, and not use... Oh yeah, st stand. I was, gonna use, I was gonna use start. I don't know. If... Uh, R is no good. So... Oh yeah, st so, stand. Let's try stand. Stand. N's common. D is common. Ish. Speaking of multiplayer, this is a bit like a lovers in a dangerous space time. That's a good four player. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. I've heard of I've heard of it, I haven't looked at it. Oh boy. Okay. So A is almost definitely in the second place. It could be something else like a awake or it wouldn't be. Oh. Okay, T and S. It could be a um, plural word. Where it's TS at the end? Yeah. Um, and if you are. People in chat can also uh, participate and try and guess. So, as does well. it. So, how's it Tacos! Work? Let's try it. Oh, yeah, tacos. Um, have you also watched Pretend It's a City? I believe that's coming up. Let me see. That's on day 11, because we're at 2019, which was Rolling Thunder Review, a Bob Dylan story by Martin Scorsese. Long title. Um, and 2019, Irishman. So, Pretend It's a City is 2021. 
So the green oh, mean it's actually that? accurate. That's in the right spot. So it's T A S Ta tasks. No tasks. Taste. Taste. Oh, it could be taste. I would go for taste. That oh. Makes... Oh, it lets you hook okay. I didn't realize. I would go taste. Or tasks? No, it can't be tasks because case wrong. Taste is a uh, probably gonna be right. Maybe. Let's or it's see. gonna. I think T is gonna be in the right spot. Oh, it's not taste because E is not right. But uh, that's not gonna help too much. It might give us the S, but tasks. No we no we no tasty. Taste. Yep. Tasty. Let's try tasty. It'll Ooh. at least give us verification on some of the letters. <gasps> Yo, Carl who did G. That? Carl. Carl. Okay. Big points for Carl G. Oh, break is not terrible. It's got an E and an A in it. You can start with that. Let's try it. If you want to go for it. Oh god. Oh, that eliminated a bunch of letters. <laughs> Now you really want a word with an O and an I. Uh, point. Oh yeah, let's try point. P's a good letter. N's a good letter. T's a great letter. Yeah, those are really common ones. Point would be really good. Rogue and Daisy are my favorite starters. Yeah, three, three and two and a half um, vowels in there. Did you see silence yet? No. In his film, Silence? Oh, is it's one of his films? Yeah. Silence? That's why, it's out of his, I feel like it really doesn't like. Silence? I really like that film. Did he produce it? He directed it. It's like, I think it was 2015 or 16, something like that. Oh, oh, yeah. Silence, yeah. What do you think of that one? How come I don't remember it? That's not a good sign. It's the it's the <laughs> it's the, the, the Catholics that go into oh. the, like Japan, and it's so interesting seeing these guys like. Mm. <laughs> uh, I categorize that because it's alongside any other religious movie that really heavily relies on your um your belief. I would say your belief in that structure yeah because it doesn't i don't think it has the impact that it would to a believer in that religion um uh, because i just felt like these guys are idiots <laughs> that was the critique <laughs> that everyone said like you guys are dumb for doing this why are you going into this place where you're completely shunned will be killed on sight just to spread the word. Um, yeah, I was not... It's well, the, I, I found it interesting. The thing that I liked about it was it's like none of his other films at all. Like Last Temptation totally of Christ. Like, I find it, it... It's it's about the same as The Last Temptation of Christ. It really relies on the belief. On yeah. That. And he, he loves... And the, some of the images of like the guys on the water and like the the, the ocean rising as they're like... Oh, it's gorgeous. And then, it's like, a gorgeous film. And then just like really that's interesting. That's brutal. That, and that scene, and, and yeah. setting up with like, you know... The quest is it's good. Not, I don't think it is because I realized the E, e is right? Good. Was... Um, somebody said shout. Ooh, shout. Oh, that is a good one. Let it all out. These are the games I can't do without. Come on. Let I'm talking on. to you. <laughs> I like this shout though. This starts yeah. to hit. I think that might be it, honestly. We'll see. It is but a like... very good chance it is it. So, yeah. Um, I found the acting to be pretty good in it. I, I... Oh. Out. Ooh. Spout? No, S is wrong. Um, gr grout? <laughs> clout? No, R is no. wrong. Flout? It's, is that a word? It could be flout. Could be clout. There's no reason it couldn't be clout. Uh, flout? It's I, don't know clout. If, I don't know if flout's a word. I was just thinking about I don't know. Clout is a word. Gamma Dev gets it if it's clout. Oh my god, so close. What could it be? 
What is guys? Guys, wait. What? Glout? Am I, flout? Am I dumb? Is what flout is a this? word? Glout? Flout? Flout? Like, let's try, dude, let's try it. Oh. Hey, what do you? What is even a Google right now? What flout. does flout mean? Is it like flout. a flautist or like flout? what does it mean? Grout? Let's look. I'm sure right. rogue. Someone said that. I was like, that's a cool flout. Never heard that to word. To mock, before. to scoff, to flout, openly disregard. Oh, flout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To just, flout something. It's, I just don't think I've ever. It's heard hardly that. used. Hardly, hardly, hardly used. Rogue. Oh, yeah, good, good start. Oh. Flouting. You've heard flouting a lot, but not flout by itself. Flouting the laws of conventional society. But no. What was the other word? Somebody said to start with. We're going to try that. Daisy. And that doesn't use any of the word, uh, other letters that... Um, Although it doesn't align with... No. But it helps, will maybe help, like... Yeah, because an O by itself is... Um, I mean, the Z is, like, the odds of that. Oh, but, no, D-A-I-S-Y. Uh, D-A-I. Oh, right. S -Y, Daisy. I'm so dumb. Not, not dazed. <laughs> dazed. Dazed, yeah. Adieu. Wow, yeah. But that's... Does that count? Is that really popular enough in English to be counted as an English word? Adieu? I don't know. Oh, it does count. New York Times allows it. Oh, okay. Well, it is, it is known in English. Ooh, okay. I don't know why now. Both in the right place. Let's put those O's and Y's. Let's start to like... Because we should put those. Uh... Hmm. I feel like an F we haven't used yet. Ooh, that's a tough to put in there. Look at it. Folly. Let's try it out. Folly. Oh, the folly. Yeah, that's an old, old word. Will we get it? Scamma dev right. No. Oh, oh no. no, no. We got debated by yeah. folly. Oh, double L. Oh. Well, we know there's no L's or F's. Yeah. Mm. M and N. Holly. <laughs> ha. How's Housey? Housey? Mousy? No. Snowy. That's too long. This be the last word. We're gonna. Nice thing about these kinds of games is you don't have to memorize an arbitrary Scrabble dictionary to get anywhere. Yeah, because it is has to be five letters, and it's not weird two-letter words that nobody ever uses. Mouse, ma, mossy, horny. <laughs> <laughs> horny. Uh, uh, well, there's no N. I don't. The only thing I don't like about Poppy is that like. It's then we just oh you know, the, you know we're relying I mean? a lot like, on the P's. We're really throwing it in. Tooty, no. Well, it could be two O's, but Booney. I don't really like any of those. Potty. I mean, at least we can we can sure. we we'll we'll like eliminate some new words. I think we're in trouble on this word. I feel I really feel like this is not it. And unfortunately, you have to put in a real word. You can't just put in letters to see if. Oh no! Oh, okay. Well, we have narrowed it down. Moody. Well, it's not poppy. Moody, I like. I really oh, like. I really, I no, re it's not D. It's not D. That's oh. gonna waste a turn. Moody. M so we know it's not T. We know it's not. It's another. M what if it word? is poppy? That would be brutal. And it's not because P wasn't verified. Oh yes. Yeah, so we did eliminate P. <laughs> I, mean, I don't like. I really don't like doing it, but horny is not a bad idea because it, it does give us three uh, no, new it words. Does, it isn't R. We already have an R. Oh, yeah, we have an R, so never mind. But the H and the N. Woody. No, the D. The it's D. It's not the D. Yep. Yeah, uh, how many K is this? Let me see. Let me see. Word guess. It is woozy. 32k f4. I don't mind woozy. At least it's some new letters. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's the wonky. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's... I like that. I'm going to do wonky at because least at least diverse. it's new. Those are like three new letters. That will help a lot. So at least we can eliminate some options. Then we have a right. chance in the last row if it's not the right one. Right? Is that. Let yeah. me just confirm. Yeah, these are new. They're all new. That's the right spelling. Oh no. no! Well, we know what it's not. It's not Poppy. It's not Woody anymore. Oh my god. What's left? What's left? Uh, oh, woozy's looking good. Uh, it kind of is at this point. Is that the only one? Boozy. Oh no. No W though, right? No W. No. That's right. Oh yeah, not Woozy. Woozy's our best bet at the, at the Honestly, moment. Honestly, that's insane that unless we're doing a, that. Unless another one comes up. That's a brutal one. A Y and a Z? And a double letter? Double vowel? Are we yeah, going for it? I mean, I don't... Something with an M. Ooh. It's not Moody. I can't think of an M. Ma? 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 Not not money. Is that? Oh no, because we already have the N. And no. I think we have to go for it. Guys, no, we're gonna no other suggestions. We're gonna give it a shot. Oh, oh. 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 holy! Okay, okay. Yeah, that one goes to Gamma Dev. That is Gamma Dev. Okay, I think that is the last 2600 demo that's going to be showing at the Atari yum, Age booth. Yum, oh, yum, we're going yum, for double is three it double time. time. The cats are excited. Uh, Sid is more excited than Atari. Okay, what? I'm trying to put the joystick away, it said. Trying to put the joystick. The okay. lethargy. I like the spread variation of the last one. I think it let's worked keep it okay. The, let's keep it the same. Yeah. So let's start up the betting. We're keeping it the same, so start yeah. your predictions. That'll wake you up. That'll <laughs> wake you up, Atari. Yeah, That'll are you awake you now? Puss and Bets time part two! Start your betting, people! Will it be Sid? Will it be Atari? Will we see the first Atari win with Erlen here? It, Will it, it happen? Would happen. The, the data. If anyone, if anyone is has he's, built data, send that to James. I want. He's good on the know. second round. Atari is better on the second round. I find. Don't run out. He's, um, a, he's a late starter. He is. I think uh, Sid gets full, and then Atari uh, sweeps it up, and Sid gets a bit lazy on the second one. I think. Oh, we're going. Uh, I think I may have influenced it, but don't take my word for it. If you lose all your money, not financial advice. No. <laughs> <laughs> points advice. Not points advice. Oh, we don't have a SID 5 Plus. That's still a possibility. So let's get the bells down. Um, you have a minute left to bet. The cats are ready. They're up. They're excited. Not as excited as last time. Might go a little slower. It, it was very fast. It was like... Let me clear the scores and switch over to the cat. Cat cam. Puss and Bets time. Rouge. Zero page homebrew Puss and Bets. Oh, we're covered completely. Somebody put a hundred yeah, spot on a SID 5 Plus. The invaluable internet points. That's <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. It's it's so you can um, start, start the betting yourself. You can induce a betting. <laughs> Build up enough points. There are the couple things you can do. You can give them a treat ball. Right. You can give them catnip. You can make their faces big on the screen. <laughs> you have so many <laughs> options. And biggin. And there's more. <laughs> and you can, you can warn me there's something wrong with the stream. And there's more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what else you can do. You got nine seconds left. You can do an on-screen celebration. You can hey, highlight Sid. your message. You can say a game's not couch compliant. He said. All points are covered and the time is up. Are you ready, cats? Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Get on the floor. Okay, cats, you're both ready. You both said yes. And we're off. And Sid's off to the races with 1-0. Atari. Atari's got it as well. We are tied up at 1-1. One, one. Oh, Sid is crunching it. And he's back. No, he soft-pawed it. Didn't make it. Oh, that was Sid. 
That was Sid. They That's were both Atari. going for it, but that was Sid. Neck and neck. Yeah, it's tied up. 24% for Atari, never. And okay. Sid's got 3-2. He's confused. You have Not 20 seconds compliant. to comply. Atari. It's Atari. He's tied it up. Sid's trying for it. Didn't make it ring. He's looking at it like it's defective. And he's taking his time. He's slowed down a bit, giving Atari time to catch up. There we go. It's tied up. Sid's back at the bell, soft pawing it, but he gets it. Bats it over. Yeah, he's not as fast. Oh, he's fast that time. 6-4. Atari's back at the bell. He tried. He gets it. 6-5. It's only leading by one point, Sid, right now. Sid. He's a little confused, a little slow, but he's back go. at it. 7-5. He's got a two-point lead. He's over by the blue bell, which he's not favoring. He tends to copy his brother. Well, and Atari's got another point. Sid's back at the pink bell. We usually... Aren't you going to use the blue bell? No, he's like, I like my brother. My mother knows what to do. There we go. He's now at a two-point lead again, but Atari is going to... He's covering the bell. He's so blocking it. It's no, a tactic. He's... There we go. 8-7. One point difference. And we're at game point for Sid. Sid. Ooh. Sid the kid. And Atari is tied okay, it up. Okay. 9-8. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's batted it far oh, away. It's no. over anyway. Oh, no. It's over. It's a one. No. It's a two-point lead. It is a closer race. Much closer. So let's see who bet on the one to two points. Sid, one to two. Boom. Concord Ranger says, I guessed right for once by two whiskers. One to two. Carl G. Carl Five just like people. cleaned up, dude. Wow. Yep. So four four to one ratio. Four point seven to one. A very good ratio. That's a though. crazy spread. Yep. Yep. Two out of two tonight. Good betting thrust. Good stuff thrust. Okay. So that is the end of the show for all the demos. Let's see what's coming up on the show here. Uh, let's switch over to other screen here do, do, do. that's us and here is zero page zero page homebrew schedule on sunday we're going to be uh taking part in the last strike dx Always contest airline factor oh it does pushes it a little bit it does it's uh we look at the data 100 100 percent tells it's no pretty lies hard to, it's pretty hard to debate 100 percent yep can't can't beat those stats. Uh, Last Strike DX for the Jag. We're going to be participating in that, seeing what Ooh. kind of score we can put in for the Last Strike DX contest. I won the last one, only because other, one other person pulled out of the contest because they kept winning. We'll see if they're back in. They pulled out? Yeah, they kept winning at every contest. So they're like, I'm going to let somebody else win. Yeah, yeah. They just, they're too good. Too good. Um, and then we're off to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, where we'll be broadcasting live on the showroom floor. Three broadcasts or more. We can try and do one every day, one a little bit different each day. Um, I don't know the times. No clue. I might be able to estimate, but I have no idea. It's, it's pretty much when we can do them. Um, don't know. Um, I might be able to fill it in as we look at the schedule because I want to go to some talks and do some things. Um, and then the next show back is on uh, October 4th to be announced. We don't know. TB TBD. And actually this, the Secret Homebrew from Champ Games. <sighs> secret. Will not be so secret. It will be revealed very soon. And be at PRGE. But... We'll be having a live interview with John Shampo about this brand new homebrew, and we will show it on the show, and also show the retail version of Tutankham Arcade, because we'll be bringing it back with us. That will be on the 11th. So I haven't updated it, because I just got word back for the confirmation of that. Uh, we're also gonna do a Vectrex special because I got a brand new Vectrex game and I'm waiting on another Vectrex game. So we'll be doing a dual header Vectrex special it's somewhere in October as well. 100% out of how many samples? 30, 50? I probably, I if I had to ballpark, probably 25 maybe. I, I maybe, 25. maybe 25 to 30 is a safe. Yeah. Certainly, I'm um, certainly more than 20, no more than 35. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. somewhere in that range. Somewhere between 20 to 35. 35. I'd say out of like all of the all the times. Yeah. 
It's, it's quite a few, but um, we're also going to be putting in the spotlight on Albert Uruso, most likely in October as, October as well. We could talk about PRG with him, That's right. talk about Atari Age, talk about Atari. Uh, their booths are going to be right beside each other, Atari Age and Atari, big booths each. Um, so lots of things to talk about. We're also going to be doing the After Dark of the updated Tony retail release of that um i found a bug in it they have corrected it this they've sent me the new version so we'll be doing after dark doing a long play going through all the levels of tony um what else and i do want later in the year do a four player day Ooh. game again especially in the fall it's nice to yeah because it gets hot in the here it gets kind of cooked in the summer you know <laughs> yeah so yeah in, in no late november early december somewhere around there but we'll, we'll plan for that um also bounty bob strikes back exclusive world premiere first atari 7800 game in 33 years Damn. released by atari directly and we'll be doing an interview with bob deck her zenzo exclusive world premiere of that game i was a beta tester on it Ooh. um so that's coming out late november so we'll do an interview with him just before it goes to retail so you guys can check it out uh second most boring ball game after cricket what was the first one baseball, baseball. it's it's slow i don't yes. mind watching it live because you know you have people to talk to you're eating food but hanging out on tv man it's a more hangout game it feels it like it really is you don't have to pay attention too much it's like oh they're up to bat okay i gotta look at this for two seconds and then go back to talking um so lots coming up uh make sure that you're following us on twitch if you're not already following us so that when we go live at prge you'll know it'll alert you on your phone enable it do all those things so that you won't miss it because you will because <laughs> it's random i don't know what time it'll be i'll try and nail down a time but you never know um yeah lots more that will fill in uh zx spectrum special as well uh after the last little bits repair on the zx spectrum it is up and running i've done some things some modding to it but i need to do some more uh yeah those are the big things so um thank you for hanging out yeah, thanks for kicking us. around everyone yeah felt meyer gamma dev thomas concord ranger carl g itc Smitty b dan avc uh Charles donnie mao um chitla chitla yeah uh br pocock there was more at some point. Oh. Every, every Tower, ca yeah. Cafe oh. Man. Philip Meyer. Um, Al Nefer. And everyone else who is lurking. I will check out the message you sent as well on Facebook and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, I'll see if I can put in another game of that. Of 30 Squares of Fate. Just to 100% confirm that it is that hey cat my shirt um, <laughs> so next time i see you guys uh anybody's going down to prg look for me flag me down come on over we'll give you a coaster we'll give you a sticker we'll get a photo with you um yeah we'll check out the showroom floor and if you can't make it there watch watch the coverage that's right um, on this very very channel and uh that's it for today thanks for hanging out with us thanks fun everyone. show Lots of great games, um, and those demos are available in the Atari Age forums or will be available after PRG. So we will see you on the showroom floor. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.